Hello, welcome in. I'm just getting started this afternoon, this evening. This is evening, I'm finishing up working on the string of mushrooms that I was working on this morning and I ran out of yarn and uh, but I did manage to get one almost fully made this morning. I got it all crocheted. I just have to add the dots later. Um, <clears throat> but I had to run out and make a yarn run uh, to get some more red. Um, <laughs> and of course, I got more yarn than what I meant to go for. I really wanted to try some sport weight yarn. Um, I want to work on some more delicate um, mushrooms, some smaller ones. Um, at some point, but look what I found. I swung by the, thank you for the likes. I appreciate that. I swung by the dollar general because I'm having a bit of a terracotta crisis. Um, and I wanted to see if they had any, sometimes they do, but they go really quick. Um, cause obviously they're two for, um, I'm messing these up. Obviously they're two for a dollar 25, but um, I found these instead. <laughs> now, they're just plastic, but I need to make it a terrarium. Um, so, I don't know if we'll get to that this evening, but um, I'm playing around in my head about all the little tiny mushrooms and ferns that I'm going to make to go in there. Um, and so I'm super excited about that. It's going to be fun. I am working on these mushrooms. These are uh, the string of mushrooms that I sell in my shop. And I have two orders for them. Um, one is for two strings and one is for one string. Um, and I'm working on finishing them up so I can get them out. And I just thought I was sitting here crocheting, getting most of them done. I was like, hmm, I might as well join a live and have some people to chat with. Um, I was drinking tea, but it's gotten cold, and I was drinking dandelion tea, and I just don't like dandelion tea when it's cold. Um, it's got a really strong, particular flavor. Hope everyone had a really nice Monday. Mondays have a bad reputation, but I like to think of them as the beginning of the week and getting um, started on new week projects. Beginnings are good sometimes. Thank you so much for the likes. Yep, more mushrooms. They look like Santa hats. They do look like Santa hats. Um, we were working on these. I want to get these two orders finished. Um, and I had been working on them here in silence. And I thought, you know what? I'll just pop on a live and see who's here. It's so nice out today. I've got my back door open. I can hear my fountain outside. Pepper is out running around in the back chasing bugs. So funny to watch him pounce. My son ditched school to hang with me. <laughs> we went to breakfast and watched movies and chilled. Oh, that sounds like a perfect day. Sometimes you just got to ditch school and have a mental health day. That sounds perfect. I'm glad you guys got to spend that time together. Do it now. Eventually they grow up and they move on and we lose our time. And then sometimes they have their own kids and it's difficult so you gotta enjoy that time while you have it um, I do not have my kids this week it's dad's week so they are off with their dados and um, so it is quiet around here it's just Pepper and I my dogs go back and forth with the girls too, so it's extra quiet. And then when they're here, it is extra loud. And I like the switch though. I um, miss having them here when they're not here, but I also enjoy some quiet time. 
get caught up on extra projects. I've got two more stems to do and then we're gonna tie up, we're gonna string up these. Um, eight, nine, ten. I was able to go and run errands this afternoon, which was great. Got some new yarn. I um, went down to Michael's to uh, test out the terracotta pot situation. Um, and yes, oh yeah, that's good to, my mom, um, finally got a new job to work from home all the time. So like today I drove by there and popped in and it's good to just be able to, I mean, she really works from home. She's got like her double monitors and, um, she's, uh, at it, but, uh, it's good to pop in and be able to give her a hug. What am I making? I am making mushrooms and they are going to be strung up on a string and made into like um, hanging garland. Uh, they'll get dots eventually, but right now we're working on putting them together. I've got two more stems to make and then we're gonna string them up. Thank you. Our mushrooms uh, mushrooms have been the theme the last few days if you're new to my account uh, my name is laura and i crochet plants i have a shop called the stuffed pot.com kind of got i try to keep that up there just so you guys know um don't make patterns um i'm just go down um would it be safe to put clear yes I would use them, have I been crocheting all day? <laughs> you did see me this morning. No, I did get out and um, go run errands. I, I ran several errands. I had my mom's car this afternoon. My car is in the shop. I was in an accident last week and uh, my car is being worked on. So I did get out um, and it becomes seriously, yeah, you should um, learn how to crochet. Um, and it becomes seriously, yeah, you should um, learn how to crochet. It is a fun hobby. It's very relaxing. Um, yes, to go back to the other question, yes, you can put LED lights with these. Um, as long as they don't get hot. If your LED lights burn hot, I wouldn't suggest putting them with uh, fabric. Especially, this is acrylic yarn, uh, and it might might melt. Um, so as long as your string of lights aren't hot, um, I have some that, um, get really hot. Like the, the ones that come on the tape that my daughter has in her room that all, it's real trendy with kids right now. The ones that stick to the wall, those things get so hot. Learning how to crochet is, I'm... I think there for a while it was almost a dying art and so I'm happy to hear that people are picking it back up again. I've been crocheting for 30 years. I learned when I was 10. Uh, my grandmother taught me and my mother. My grandmother, my mom, and my aunt all crochet. They all have made blanket, many blankets. Oh, Izzy and Dad roadkill okay i thought the picture looked familiar i was like that looks familiar <laughs> welcome back welcome back um i did get out and run errands today i have not been crocheting all day i ran out of this red yarn this morning um and i needed to go get some so that i could finish up the two string of mushroom orders um and so I got out, I went to Hobby Lobby, I picked up more yarn that I, than I had really intended to, but guess what, it was 30% off today. Um, and you can't beat that, you gotta stock up uh, when it's cheap. And then I ran down to Michael's to look at terracotta pots. Um, I'm really upset about their price increases. I know everyone's increasing prices lately, inflation but um these tiny tiny little pots these are tiny 
little pots and I use them on my small cactuses. There's probably four or five cacti in my um, shop that I put in these small pots. Used to get them for 53 cents a piece, which is reasonable, right? They raised the price to a dollar 23. 70 cents they added onto that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to try to do is get a, um, get in touch with the manufacturer and just see if I can buy them directly. Um, I really don't want to raise the cost of my plants. Um, it's just, I know, right? It's, it's insane. The inflation, I heard somebody say the other day, like they're on the news or something and they're like, Whoa, 7% inflation this year. And I'm like, Nope, I hate it is not set. It's more like 25% inflation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, the increases in things have just been astronomical. Um, it's just nuts. I can't do it. So I don't know. I'm going to have to start researching. I did buy a few, even though I hated doing it. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had a few on hand in case I get orders in um, because I haven't had the chance to switch over to using something different. So um, I'm going to start researching um, what I can do to um, combat that. I'd hate to switch to plastic pots. I did buy some plastic pots a while back. They were, I thought they were gonna be white and they ended up being gray. And they're super lightweight. Like I almost have to fill them with something because the slightest breeze knocks them over. Or if I put too much crochet on top, they just wobble right over. This is the last stem I'm making for this batch of mushrooms. And we may take a break from making string of mushrooms. I'll get back to them later. Um, I really kind of feel like we need to start a new craft project and make um, this terrarium. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree today, and I kind of want to fill it with moss and mushrooms. How's that sound? Should we take a break and go on a, on a fairy land adventure? I think we should. Um, I will get back to these mushrooms. I got another string of these to do. I've done two today. This is the second. Um, and I'm, my ADHD is saying, Laura, make something else. Put this project down, even though these are orders, they're not projects. <laughs> so I kind of have to stay on it a little bit, but I've never not gotten an order out on time. I got plenty of time to get it out. The postman came, picked up all my mail today. That was good. How's everyone doing? Wow, I just looked up. There's a lot of people in here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Laura. I own the stuffed pot and I crochet plants and mushrooms. We're making mushrooms right now for a string of mushrooms order. That was made yesterday. And, or maybe this, was this one? Yeah, this one was made yesterday. Gonna get it out in the mail tomorrow. I gotta put the dots on them. I, put, I gotta put the dots on them tonight because I glue those dots on and I like to let them dry overnight before I package them. I don't like the tissue paper sticking to them. That would be a disaster um, that I plan to uh, make some natural brown mushrooms with. I know most like the fun mushrooms are the one, the red ones, right? Um, but I really want to make some. Oh, 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 oh. I also got to make the chicken of the woods. I found a perfect yellow to make the chicken of the woods. Um, It's like a really light, creamy yellow. And so I can't wait to do another wall hanging. I've got these boards that I bought. I wanna stain them though, because they're kinda of yellowish right now. Though you know that like yellow color that uh, we get, you know, when you buy fence, they're kind of a bright yellow. Um, 
So we're gonna stain them brown to make them kind of look like a tree trunk. And then put clusters. What well, hasn't gone up in price? I think, yeah, I 100% agree with that statement. 100%. It's ridiculous. There is no reason that things have to increase 25% in, in cost. None whatsoever. It's like everybody else is doing it. Why don't we? Drives me nuts. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I do a space of fifteen between each mushroom. And I'm just connecting these here. And then we're going to work on this terrarium. I'm really stoked about it. I'm gonna have to go and dig out all my green yarn, which is not far, I got it in a closet. I have a whole closet dedicated to yarn in my house. I don't like this for some reason. This right here is kinda, it's, it's just really tight and I tied it really tight. Um, and I can't get my hook back into it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use my fuzzy green yarn and some of my really small sport weight new yarn and we're gonna make the cutest little mushroom terrarium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay. Hello, Tokaboka. Tokaboka, hello. Welcome in. We are crocheting this afternoon, this evening. So nice outside. I've got my back door open. It's for once not gale force winds outside here. It's been windy for the last two weeks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Thank you so much for that compliment, random stuff. Um, it is talent. I have been crafting my talent for a handful of decades, three, three decades I've been crocheting. Um, and I'm always making something. When I'm not crocheting plants, I'm working on blankets, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But I try to save the fun stuff for my lives. Um, I work on the blankets when I lay in bed um, and watch movies and don't feel like extroverting. It is fun. You only just started crocheting well. You'll get there. You're going to um, get it down and figure it out. What is your first project? What are you working on first? I always think first projects should be like coasters or, uh, that's what I tell my daughters, coasters or um, pot holders. Is, um you know, getting those basic patterns down. And then once you learn those stitches, you can do anything. Hop on YouTube and pick up a tutorial. There's some really good um, crocheters on YouTube that do tutorials. Um, if I was better at technology, I would try to do them, but I don't know. I like it here in the TikTok lives. <laughs> it's cozy, it's comfortable. And I can chit chat. You guys can ask questions and I can answer them real time rather than in the comment section of the YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for the likes. And the shares. 
letting everyone know they can come here and chill out and hang if you have your after work beverage whether that's a cold beer or an ice latte one two three four five six ice latte sounds so good right now seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15. All right, last one on this stitch, and then let's make a terrarium. We are going to finish up this string, and then we are going to make a terrarium full of ferns and mushrooms. Um, I am super excited to get all artsy in this little terrarium. All right, here's our string of mushrooms. Thank you, thank you for everyone who is here. I appreciate your you joining us. An ice latte does sound good, oh my goodness. I don't know why, so I do some work for a real estate agent. Um, some of his transactional work and um, he just sent me he had his several closings this month and he just sent me a, a check all my checks in the mail because I get a check for each closing and uh, <laughs> he put a Starbucks card in it and I was like oh my gosh you know the way to my heart I'm actually filling in for his original transaction coordinator who's on maternity leave um Keep her in your thoughts. Her little baby is not doing very well. Um, so I'm hanging in there. I was a licensed real estate agent for 10 years, a licensed broker. Um, but I got out of real estate for a multitude of reasons. Um, I did enjoy it, but um, so now I just work from home and was doing some uber driving but um wrecked my car last week so I'm off week i'm off work this week you guys are gonna see me a lot this week we're just gonna crochet and crochet crocheting blueberries i like um so what are you gonna do with the blueberries are you gonna put them in a in a little a cute little basket oh my gosh you guys Pepper just rolled into my house with a stick in his mouth like he's a dang dog. <laughs> Pepper plays fetch with me. I'll throw his toys across the house. Pepper's my eight-month-old kitten. And he... I can't get this down in there. Um, he'll bring me a toy and I will throw it across the room. And he will go and chase it and bring it back. And he'll do it 50 times over, just like a dog would. And he has been outside running around. So nice outside. You're putting them in fruit baskets I bought on Amazon paper ones. Oh my gosh. I bet that's so cute. Brie, you made a blanket. I think that's, I'm shortening your username. Um, you made a blanket. Are you, is it striped or is it patchworked? What kind of stitch are you doing? Are you crocheting it? Tell me more about this blanket. I love a good crocheted blanket. Your cat does that. Yeah, cats are funny. Um, he acts like a dog. Probably because I have two dogs around here, but he is legit under my chair right now with a stick that he just brought into the house. And he is chomping down on it. It's, he's so funny. Oh, you made strawberry. Oh, I bet those are cute. Hey, follow me so I can go back after this live and find you and look. I want to see if you made any videos about it. Um, I do go in after my lives and look at everyone that follows me. And uh, most of you who interact, I follow back. I try to follow everyone back. Um, TikTok gets a little weird about me just mass following people sometimes. But I do try to go back in and follow everyone that's followed me. Um... There's been so many lately since I've started my doing my lives, trying to keep up with it all. Um, I am enjoying this little community here that we're building. It's wonderful. It's a bunch of people who love crochet and love plants. 
How do you learn to read patterns? Oh, Jody, Jody, I wish I knew. I don't read patterns. Um, I know the basic stitches. I know chain stitch. I know single crochet. I know half uh, slip stitch, single crochet, half double, uh, double, and triple. Um, and with that, knowing those basic foundation stitches, you can pretty much um, learn to make anything. Um, lots of Googling on the activations, yes. Oh, you have a website, but you haven't put them up on the website yet. Are you going to sell them, the blueberries and strawberries? Oh, that sounds so cute. All right, we finished this string of mushrooms for now. I'm new here. I see a mushroom garland. What is it? Mushroom garland is a beautiful string here, string of mushrooms that you can hang anywhere you need some You got to miss Mickey Mouse from Boot Sale, but I don't know where to start. <laughs> well. Is it to cro crochet a Mickey Mouse? Abbre okay, Googling abbreviations. Yes, yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't know pattern lingo. I can tell you how to... Um, do a half double crochet. I can tell you how to do those. I don't know how to read the abbreviations. Um, anytime I buy a new a new yarn, that always comes with a pattern on the bet on the inside of the label sometimes. And I try to read it and I can't. It's just um, it's impossible. Actually, and I just tore it apart. This yarn comes with an abbreviation. Um, glossary, wrong side, together, stockinette stitch, but the frustration I get with reading a pattern is when you get down here and you don't know the abbreviation, and so you got to stop and go look up the abbreviation, because my old lady memory will not allow me to keep these in my brain, so... <laughs> I've given up on patterns, gave up on patterns a long time ago. Yeah, I don't know. I used to fall, but it's getting easier. That's good. I think, you know, it, can, consistency is definitely the key to learning how to read patterns. Um, it's just staying at it and then eventually it becomes second nature. My, D, my ADHD will not allow me to, um, to do that. <laughs> can't do diagrams. I can't do diagrams either. I'm like, what does that little dash mean? Okay, I bought these today. They're just plastic. They're not glass. I'm more hands-on with a million questions. Yes, I am too. Hands-on. I used to teach knitting classes. Um, I loved, like, you know, people would pay me to come and join a group of their friends and teach everybody how to knit. I'm going to make a terrarium in this. <laughs> play, pause, play. Yep, yep. I've done that too many times. Um, many, many, many times. I'm going to make some really delicate brown mushrooms to go into this terrarium. Um, we're going to put a moss bottom on it. I'm going to make my mushrooms brown. And these are the baby weight yarns that I got today. And this is going to be the stem color. This is going to be the bell color. I need to go get my, sm I'm sorry, I forgot to get my smaller hook out before I started this. my um, smaller hook because we're using a more delicate um, thinner yarn yep. 
So this is, um, you can't read that. Three and a half mil. I don't know what letter it is. It doesn't have a letter on it. That's the kind of yarn I'm using on my strawberries and blueberries. Oh, cool. Breeze use it, making a granny square crochet color to red and white. That's awesome. Oh, I bet that's going to be beautiful. I love granny square blankets. I love them because I get the sense of completion when I do... Um, does anybody else get satisfaction in ripping open a skinny yarn? It's just something about it. <laughs> We're going to start with our caps first. Um, I don't know where they are. There it is. The end of this yarn. Um, I love making granny squares because if you like to rush to the end of the, your project, you almost get a sense of satisfaction of completing the square and then going forward. Um, and then you can put your square down and then later you can patch them all together. We're going to start with the caps. We're going to use this darker brown color on our caps. I have a really small hook. Um, I'm going to do single crochets around. We're going to make some tiny wispy mushrooms. Thank you so much for the likes. Happy to have everyone here. We are working on um, making some tiny little mushrooms. Teeny tiny ones. Oh, I set, <laughs> I set a box. Pepper's cat treats fell on the floor a minute ago when I walked by, and then I set my uh, yarn hook box on top of them, and he is not having it. He's like, I don't particularly want snacks right now, but. Alright, there you go. He didn't like that his snacks were being sat on. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Went to Joanne's and you got some you did you run out of yarn? Um That'll be fun to get that blanket finished. That's a chunky fleece blanket, right? Is that my memory serving me right? Kind of grays and pastels. All right, I'm going, I'm working on this cap. I don't remember how many stitches I put in the top, but I'm gonna increase this second row every other stitch. Oh, great. Um, so we're increasing every other stitch on this mushroom cap. We started in the center and with a magic circle, I think we did probably a, maybe 10 stitches inside. And now we're going to increase every other stitch. <laughs> internally thinking about um, my daughter's missing their appointment because my ex um, got caught up with work and forgot about it. Um, you know? <laughs> so um, I'm just going to let that roll right off my back and not get angry about it. Um, it is what it is. Try to stay cool, calm, and collected. Um... It's easy to get really angry about things, and um, 
I know he's working hard these days, but geez. Hi, Sam. Oh my gosh, Sam, I tried to find you earlier and I could not find you. I couldn't remember. I remember the first part of your username. Um, give me a follow real quick. How do I follow you from here? I wanted to come in. Oh, look, I figured out how to do it. Okay, I follow you now. I wanted to come in and see your live this afternoon and I could not find your account. Um, yes, that's the chat. Okay, cool. I am Okay, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on this. Um I'm going to this isn't quite going the way I wanted it to go. I wanted it to be a little more slender. I think I put too many, um, uh, I think I put too many, um, stitches on the, in the top and then I increased every one like I normally, every other one like I normally would and it just made it really flat. So I don't like this. I'm going to pull this row out. I'm going to keep my first row, um, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to... Okay, there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep... I'm not going to increase. I might increase one. We'll increase one. I just did too many increases and it ended up not looking. I just want these to be real slender caps. So it may be just a small bell at the edge of the cap. Yeah, you did. I got, when I get done with the live, I have so many notifications. I try to scroll through um, and look at everything when I get done. And because um, a few people, and I think I just missed it. I couldn't, I scrolled through several times trying to find you because I figured you'd be in my notifications somewhere and I could not find it. So I TikTok must have hidden it somewhere, but I follow you now. So anytime you do a live, you'll be on my notification list. Um, I hope it went well this morning. Do, are you, you're not finished with that blanket, are you? You're still working on it, right? Um, I will come in there and find it. All right. All right, we are. This is going to be so cute. I think I'm gonna use um Okay, we're getting yeah, that's definitely much better. I'm glad I backed out of that. It was getting way too um flat. I'm going to throw in an increase because I feel like it's kind of starting trying to close on me. Maybe I missed a stitch somewhere. So I'm just going to get a little... You showed your bonus and she said she wants all the stuff. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Every time I make stuff, my 10-year-old uh, is always like, Ooh, can I have that? <laughs> like, how am I supposed to sell anything? If you have it all in your room, but they do have plenty of things that I've made. Um, 
they get all my prototypes. I am going to make this just a couple rows longer and then we're going to make the stem. Um, I'm really nervous about using this delicate yarn, this real thin yarn on with the wire. I put wire in my stems for my mushrooms when I want them to stand up or um, or if I want to shape them. And I'm going to put these in a tiny terrarium. It's really hard to find like greens. I couldn't find a good, what am I making? I'm making little tiny brown mushrooms to go into this terrarium. We're gonna do a whole little fairy scene in here today. <laughs> she said we need to sit and watch me. Yeah, you're welcome to sit and watch me crochet all day long. We're making little mushrooms and we're gonna make a little moss terrarium. I'm gonna probably put three little mushrooms in here. I'm gonna cut this one off. Um, I've made it as long as I would like it. This one's probably gonna be my big mushroom. <gasps> Good, well, stay tuned, we're gonna get it done. This is gonna be super cute. I have the perfect green for this and it's fuzzy like moss. This yarn needle is almost too big for this little yarn. <laughs> Can't get it to the stitches. But I gotta get it up there. You gotta go all the way to the top. All the way to the top, little guy. Get up there. It is so pretty outside today. Got out and ran some errands. I went to Michael's today to look at pots and yarn. I went to Hobby Lobby and got yarn. Hobby Lobby had 30% uh, off of yarn today, so I bought more than I probably should have. Oh, I also got some more of this speckled yarn, this red speckle. She said she has to give me loves. Oh, I appreciate her loves. What is her name, if you don't mind sharing? Um, Oh, I didn't even have that threaded. Hi, Dewanda. Welcome back. Good to see you here. We're making tiny little brown mushrooms. We're going to do a terrarium scene, a little fairy terrarium scene. We're making our caps right now. Storming here. Is storming? Are you, okay, your username has the word Texas in it. Are you in Texas? Are you sending those up here to Oklahoma? I'm in Oklahoma. Thank you for the follows and the likes, everyone. I appreciate those. Yes. I lived in Dallas for a minute. Well, actually, I lived there for four years in the early 2000s. You're in Kansas. Did you get those storms we got over the weekend? Did they make it your way up there? Rains like crazy here Saturday. Oh, I love the little mushroom emoji. It's heading toward Louisiana. Okay. Well, I hope it doesn't get bad. Sometimes storms around the coast can get horrible. All right, I'm gonna, I don't think I put as many stitches into my circle on this one, so I'm hoping it stays a little tinier, but I don't wanna make it too small. Sometimes I feel like if they get too small, they're really hard to work with. Um, I'm not gonna increase, I'm gonna put one increase in this next row. I'm not gonna increase every other one like I would normally do because it really made it fan out, and I just want these ones to be tall and slender. Little wispy mushrooms. Um, we're going to create a cute little, um, moss land, a little forest floor action, fairy wonderland. 
Just a lot of wind. Oh, I hate the wind. It's been so windy here in Oklahoma for the last two weeks. Today, it has finally calmed down a bit. I mean, it's still breezy, but it's not near as bad as it had been. It was intolerable. I haven't been wanting to spend any time outside, which I hate because I love to work in my backyard. I need to get some flowers planted. Her name pronounced Sirsha. <laughs> Siri. Hey, Siri. Um, Sirsha, I love that name. That is a beautiful name. I, it sounds familiar, like I've heard it in a movie or something. Sirsha. Where have I heard that name before? In like a Viking movie. It sounds very Nordic. Is this a Nordic name? Um, my family is Nordic. Oh, yeah, good. Well, you gave me a very good description, so... I love that name. That is a gorgeous name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this wind is nuts. Like, I don't even want to be in it right now. I don't want to go outside and do anything. Um, it's really nice today. I should be mowing my lawn right now instead of in here in the kitchen with you guys. Um, but I'd rather be here. Um, making mushrooms. I've, I'll mow tomorrow. It's still just a little damp outside. I don't like mowing when it's a little muddy. I planted, I shook some wildflowers out by my fairy garden. And hoping that they'll sprout and grow. So um, I need to go water those today. They got nice and soaked at the rain on Saturday. We are making a, if you're just joining, we're making a terrarium with our, we're using baby white yarn, using teeny tiny mushroom caps. So I don't feel like this is any tinier than the other one I made. So I guess I put the same amount of, um, it's Irish. Yes. Okay. That. That sounds right. I don't know why I didn't see that comment before I saw the other one. Um, all right, I'm gonna tie this cap off and we're gonna make the third one. And then we'll make the stems. Figure out the stems. I'm afraid, since this is thinner yarn, that the stems might show more than what I'd like them to, the wire in the stems. My bonus daughter's name is B. Uh, B-E-A. It is actually her middle name. Um, her first name is Carly, but she prefers to go by B. We used to call her Carly B. Um, My son's name is Carter, and so they are brother and sister. That's how she's my bonus daughter. And so Carter and Carly just kind of roll off the tongue. Um, but now she wants to be called B, which is fine. Whereas I've always called her B anyway, um, just because um, I have my sister-in-law's name is Carly. Like on my, uh, my brother's wife, her name is Carly. So we have two Carlys in the family. So I've always referred to her as B, even before she asked to be referred to, be, to as B. Um, so I have Carter, B, Grayson, and Sloan are my kiddos. And uh, that is their age order. Oh, my name is Laura. Yes, I say it sometimes. Um, but sometimes not everyone's here to hear it. My name is Laura, and I spell it L O R A. Um, back when I was born, the nurse asked my dad, how do you spell Laura? Cause they were filling out the birth certificate and he's, my mom was obviously, um, just had, you know, she wasn't being consulted for things cause she was, um, had just given birth. And my dad said, I don't know how you spell it. Uh, spell it L O R A. 
um, because that was just how he thought it sounded it should be spelled. And so it became L-O-R-A, and my middle name is Marie. And my brother couldn't say Laura Marie. He could only say Wawa Wee when he was little. So a lot of people call me Lolo or Wawa Wee. Thank you. I, um, a lot of my f- cousins and family and really good friends call me Lolo. Um, my cousin growing up was my very close friend and her name is Joanna and everyone called her Jojo. And so when we were together, we were Jojo and Lolo and we, um, did a lot of stuff in our, <laughs> partied a lot in our early twenties and we have a lot of close mutual friends. And so she would always call me Lolo. And so everyone called me Lolo. Um, not very, I mean, we've grown up and had kids. We don't hang out the way we used to. Um, but if every now and then somebody, I'll run into somebody and they'll call me Lolo and people that don't are, you know, didn't grow up calling me Lolo, um, are like, why, why do they call you that? And I said, well, you know, that's a, an old friend when someone refers to me as Lolo. Oh, I just had to hold back a sneeze. I thought I was going to sneeze for a minute. Oh, happy Easter. I hope, um, I hope you guys had a great Easter. Ours was pretty low key. Um, we used to do Easter as a, my dad's side of the family, a huge Easter party. My aunt didn't have children. And so all of us nieces and nephews were like her children. And so she would host the biggest Easter parties. Hold on just a second. My mom. There's an herb and succulent festival happening this Saturday. I see you're doing the front stitch and the whole stitch. What are you making? Am I doing the front stitch and the whole stitch? I thought I was just doing the whole stitch. I should just be doing the whole stitch. I bet I messed up. I'm making a mushroom cap. I'm supposed to be just doing the whole stitch. If I just accidentally did the front stitch, that was a mistake. We'll see it when we turn this thing inside out. Um, working in the round sometimes because it happens to go inside out naturally as you're working crocheting in the round Um, and it I don't know sometimes I get to talking I'm gonna leave this one small this one's gonna be my tiniest one it's gonna it's gonna be the baby um We got her back today, so we got to give her everything today. Oh, hold on, I gotta back up. No worry, Izzy and Dad. Oh, that's fun. Happy Easter. Glad you guys got to enjoy your Easter. So anyway, my story before my mom interrupted Um, we, my aunt used to do these, um, big elaborate Easter egg hunts at her house. She had a few acres and would, she would spend weeks hiding prize eggs, like really good for like the bigger kids and stuff. Um, she was diagnosed with a brain tumor a few years ago and nine months later we lost her. Um, and I tried to keep up the Easter tradition. My grandparents asked me if I would be the one to do it. I'm the oldest, second oldest grandchild, oldest granddaughter, um, out of about 20 of us. And I did it a couple of years and a few people kind of complained that things weren't doing right. And I was like, you know what? You can't please everyone. I'm done. Um, and my other cousin kind of took it on and then COVID hit and then nobody did anything. Um, so it really wasn't anybody's fault, but, um, we just kind of dispersed, um, from doing things with that family. We used to just do so much together, but you know, my cousins grew up and we all had kids and all have other sides of families. And it's just really hard for people to stay together doing big functions all the time anymore. Um, I didn't ever have my kids on Easter weekend. Um, just the way our schedule falls, they're with their dads. So I didn't do anything for Easter this year. Um, 
but my mom still made sure that my youngest got to color eggs because she um, loves to color eggs and my dad, my ex is not good about that stuff. So I don't know, maybe I did, I don't see where I caught a front stitch there. Um, I think it looks fine. I'm gonna go with it. I'm not gonna worry about if it looks odd. I think it looks all right. These are gonna be my three caps. We're gonna go in here. So let's make some stems. I gotta make sure I don't make these too big or they won't fit in the terrarium. I was kind of expecting these to be tinier, but who knows? Oh, she got to go to Disney. That is so fun. I hope she had a great time. We um, took the kids to Disney uh, in 2013. Sloan was kind of, she was too young to remember that trip. She was 18 months old. We'll go back at some point. Um, that is way too long, isn't it? Yep. Okay, I'm going to shorten this down a little bit. Yeah, these are going to have to be, it's going to be a little bigger than I thought they would be. going to go ahead because this is a smaller yarn usually I would go ahead and put the wire into the second stitch but I'm going to go ahead and put another row in here and I'm going to put the wire in the last stitch just because it's really dainty and my dexterity is not all that great so I'm going to give it a good base and then I'll put it in the last row and then we'll fold it down I just hope this isn't see this is kind of about the size I want it to be though all right. I have a feeling if I do three rows on these, they're going to be way thicker than what I wanted them to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the wire in them on here. And then I probably am not even going to wrap it around. Where are my scissors? Um, oh, they're on the counter. Hold on. I just noticed that Pepper has brought in more than one stick and put them under my chair. There are three sticks under there. Grandma is calling. Okay, go talk to Grandma. Okay, we're gonna crochet this wire into the stem so that our um, mushroom will stay up. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's got three sticks under my chair. I just noticed him. I only saw him carry in the one. I don't know when he brought the other two in. Here he comes again. Does he got another one? Maybe he's building a nest. Been watching too many birds in the backyard. Um... trying to decide how I want to do the moss on the bottom of this a couple of ways I could make a bunch of moss balls and just group them all together which is kind of what I think I'm going to do I don't think I'm going to do the ribbon like I normally do I think that's going to be too flat for my terrarium I think I'm just going to make a bunch of moss balls to um, put in there Yep, I'm only going to do two rows on this. Hope everyone had a good Monday. You're the, hope your Monday didn't have too much Monday in it. <laughs> um, mine was fairly productive. I had a good mail day. I got some checks from a guy I work for so money's always fun my daughter's sheen order came in she got some new bathing suits 
Uh, we're going to Florida in in uh, June, and so she found some bathing suits on Sheen that she wanted. All right. So that is about the thickness that I want. Um, I'm going to f- attempt to fold it over, which I mean, I know I can do it. I just, um, going to clamp these wires down really, really good because I don't want my stem to be flat like this. I want it to be round like a normal, um, I'm going to trim this up a bit. I want it to be round like a normal um, mushroom stem, but I want it to be dainty. Mondays be mundane sometimes, absolutely. That is true. I think overall mine was pretty good, except for um, my ex forgetting to take my kids to their appointment. He has texted me and I have not read it. I'm really trying to stay in my good relaxing vibes right now, you guys. Um, I'm sure it's full of apologies and excuses, um, but (laughs) Um, I should probably read it in case we get along. We don't fight. We're not like that at all, Um, but one of the big reasons we got divorced and i'm just going to tell you guys this because we're here crocheting and chatting and um is because he works way too much he is a workaholic and i just don't think he's content unless he's running around with his head cut off um he's never present and home and that just it frustrates me so bad because um we had something go on in our family last year and so my girls were in counseling where I'm all we're all in counseling except for my ex because he doesn't think he needs it but um so I go to counseling on Tuesday mornings and my girls alternate their sessions every other Monday and uh and then my son goes on Monday's uh afternoon And so he takes on his weeks is Sloan's turn to go. And, (laughs) you know, it's like you you have one job. You have one job, dude. It's Mondays. Um, Get him there. Oh, Pepper's up here. Okay, we're going to attach this. Okay, we're going to cut this off. Just joined. Hi, Holly. Welcome in. We are making mushrooms. Ta-da. We just finished off our first one, and they're going to go in this little terrarium that we're going to make. I found these today at the dollar store and thought, hey, guess what we're going to do during live today? <laughs> um, we're attaching our... You know what? I don't have pepper... Sir, sir, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tie these two off and then I'm going to shove the strings in the cap because I don't really have enough. This yarn is so tight and delicate. I don't really have the space to, <laughs> I can, why can't I tie these? <laughs> I don't know what I was, like it was just wasn't working. <laughs> um, thank you. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to tie these like this. And then cut my ugh, my unraveling anxiety is kicking in. I'm just so afraid these are going to unravel. What I would probably do and what I may do later is throw some hot glue in here. I just don't want to weave in these t- all these le- um all these tails into um <laughs> into this uh tight into these tight stitches so i'm gonna cut that off all right i'm gonna cut that off i'm gonna push this back on here okay first mushroom on a stem 
we're gonna make three of these. And then we're gonna make moss to go in there. And we're gonna make a little fairy land. A little, um, a little terrarium, a little ferium, a little forest floor. Um, I'm gonna do the stem for the tiniest one. We're putting wire in our stem so that our little mushrooms will stand up. Ah, I snagged, I felt it. Was it gonna go through good? There we go. Got it. Ah, this just requires some dexterity because this wire enjoys um, poking me. Um, I might sell these. Depends on how they turn out. Okay, Sam, we'll see you. Oh, you're back now. Sorry, I thought you said... <clears throat> read that wrong. Welcome back. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell these. If I like them and I feel like they're quality, then I will sell them. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes um, I like to work through these projects on here and they don't turn out. I will not sell that morale. I like the morale. I think it turned out well. It's just not something that I think I'm going to sell. Um, I might, I'm going to try to perfect my morale. I got these colors actually to do a morale. I feel like these are better morale colors than what I ended up with yesterday. And then I saw another picture of an actual morale while I was um, making that video and I was like, wait, I think I got my colors backwards. I should have done the darker on the inside and the lighter on the outside. I don't know. I feel like morels are all different sometimes. All right. I'm gonna clamp off this wire. make that just a little shorter sorry I feel like I don't have anything to drink right now usually I'm in here with coffee I don't normally drink coffee late in the day but I kind of feel like having some coffee I don't know I was making some tea and it just didn't hit the spot the way I wanted it to um kind of feel like making some coffee I drink half calf anyway. It's not like I would be up all night. All right, I'm gonna tie up this tiny little stem. Welcome in. If you're just joining, we are making a mushroom terrarium, fairy garden. Um, we're gonna put these three little mushrooms in there with some moss and who knows what else. Maybe we'll make a couple of crochet pebbles. Thank you so much for the likes. I appreciate them. You guys are so sweet. Um, I really enjoy doing these lives. Um, I just started doing them last year. How did that not end up on the other end? That's a mystery. Huh. Interesting. Oh, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I didn't tuck that in as I was... Um, we're going to try to slide it up there. I didn't tuck that in as I was going. Someone should have shouted at me. Said, hey, you're, you forgot your tail. 
That's right. I think it's going to slide up there pretty good. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, I might just do it halfway. It's not going into the, the rest of that. We'll just go halfway and then we'll cut it off and hide it inside. There we go. All right, this one's for our tiny one. I think I am going to put a little bit of glue in there. I'm not tying these off and tucking them in the way I really should be because it's just so... I don't enjoy working so much with um, tiny yarn or tiny things. Um, so I probably will dot some glue up there. My glue gun's not plugged in. Let's make the other stem. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. You guys, these are going to cluster each other and be so freaking cute um let me plug in my hot glue gun real quick i will need it to do the moss so might as well get it going All right, let's make our last stem. We're gonna kind of make it, let me see how tall these stand up in here. Hold on, let's look. I just wanna get an idea for how tall these are gonna be. Oh, those aren't very tall at all. I was thinking they were gonna be almost too tall. I could do this third one a little taller, couldn't I? Yes, I could. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it a little taller. Um, they put the freaking stickers on the outsides of these and I had to peel them off very slowly and delicately, but they could use a good rub down because they got sticker gunk on them. <clears throat> okay, here we go. One, two, I don't know how many chains we did that longer one in, but we're just going to eyeball it. Is that long? Yep, that's longer for show. Sh sure. Okay, let's add a wire. Ta-da. I've had this wire forever, um, and I it may be time to go buy some new. Well, no, I've still got quite a bit. It's just a giant mess of wire. Um, oh, it's snagged on something. Hold on. There we go. Welcome in, friends. If you're just joining us, we're making a terrarium with mushrooms and moss. And we may even... I wish I had... I do have a baby weight in green, a light green, like a pastel green, a real soft green. It's the green I use to make my string of pearls. So maybe we'll make a tiny little fern to join into our... I definitely think I've decided on doing moss balls, and I'm going to do a couple of different colors, shades of green, because um, moss is not always the same color. So rather than wrapping these, if you've been in here before and seen me wrap my mushroom stems, we are going to glue them in with the moss balls. And hopefully that will be enough to get them to stand up. Okay, I think it will. We'll, we'll put the bigger ones around it. These are really lightweight and tiny, so I don't think they need a lot of anchoring. Um... I feel like there needs to be a pop of color in here somewhere. Well, I guess the green will be the color, right? 
It'll be the moss's job to be the pop of color. All right. Okay, I cut that a little too th um, long. Try not to waste yarn. I mean, wire. I try not to waste anything. I try to use it all. Cut it to exact specifications, but sometimes I overdo it. Better to overdo it than to underdo it, correct? All right, let's sew this bad boy up and put it on its cap. We're almost to the fun part. I think the moss is the fun part. Um, it's going to be such a nice evening. Oops, <laughs> I unthreaded my um, needle because my tie off was a little too short. So I'm gonna pre-thread it. And then uh, put it through there. Do you sell the patterns for these? No, I don't. Unfortunately, I am not good at patterns. Um, I did it again, y'all. I left the tail, forgot to tuck it in. Um, I am not good at patterns. I'm not good at reading or writing them. Uh, I will hang in here all day long and show you how to make something. Um, and if you want me to walk you through what I'm doing in more detail, I will for sure do that. Um, essentially, what we've done for these stems is I do a, a number of chains um, to the liking of the length that I would like. And then I go back over it and I do uh, a single crochet while holding in that wire. Oops. Um, the caps are just a magic circle with um, single crochet, crochet stitches back into that magic circle. I do anywhere between five and eight, um, depending on what size you want. Um, it all really depends on the size of mushroom that you're wanting to go for. I don't like that that's sticking out there, but we're going to go ahead and glue this a little bit. Um, because, um, it's going to stress me out not being secure. <laughs> so, uh, and I really hope that glue doesn't all of a sudden bleed through my mushroom cap. Please don't. Um, I don't think it did. It almost did. I should have let it dry first. Why is this guy coming out? Where are you coming from? Oh my gosh, my unraveling anxiety is coming true. Look. Where's he in? Where is he? There he is, right there. So if that happens... See, this is why I have unraveling anxiety about things unraveling. Somehow that got loose before I could glue it. Um, bringing it up here, and I'm going to glue it again um, because his end is up here, so he's really not going anywhere, but I also don't want him to hang out. Um, yeah, 
See, it's things like this that makes me, um, like, I know it's probably nothing. It's going to be hidden under there. No one will see it, but, um, I usually don't sell things unless they're perfect. But I will start making terrariums for the, um, I want to make terrariums and wall hangings and I'm going to have to start getting more crafty because the terracotta pots are getting scarce. Um, the price on terracotta pots went up exponentially um, since the first of the year. And I really don't want to... I like using recycled goods anyway. So um, I'm going to start doing more wall hangings, um, wall art, terrariums, um... Oh, yeah, she would love it. Um, I don't really want that to poke through, and I'm afraid if I squeeze that cap over there, it's going to poke through, so I'm going to let that dry real good. I just wanted to put some glue there to keep those strings from uh, unraveling. Um, I was afraid that if I tried to tie them into their, um, tuck them into the stitches, it would loosen up the stitches because the end of my yarn needle is really wide. Can I make my own pots out of concrete? I probably could. I don't know if that's a talent I possess, though. I don't know how well they would come out. <laughs> um, but that is a great idea. Um, I've actually made pottery before. I love making pottery and working with clay. It's really fun. Um, if I had my own kiln, which... I wouldn't mind having my own kiln. I could probably throw my own really simple, easy clay pots. Um, but I don't have my own kiln. Funny enough, my stepmother used to have a kiln. I don't know why. She never did anything with it. Um, I think she got rid of it. I don't know where she got it. I think somebody gave it to her and she just had it. She never used it. Blow on that. Oops. Excuse. Excuse him all. Um, I guess I'm just drinking water today. I, I advertise this as being a, a cup of crochet, cup of tea. But um, my tea wasn't very good. I made a dandelion. I have a dandelion tea that I get. And usually I mix it with some something. But today I was like, oh, I'll just have that by itself was not so great. This wire is sticking out and I don't like it, but it's going to get covered up. I'm not going to stress out about this wire sticking out right here because it's going to get cov covered out or covered up with the moss. It's going to get tucked into the moss. This yarn I'm using is a baby weight yarn. Um, this is the specifications of what I'm using. This is Sandcastle. Where's my other yarn? I don't know which one is Sandcastle. Oh, here it is. This one's Sandcastle. And this one's Teddy. I can't remember now which one's which. I would think this is Sandcastle. This is Teddy. But that's... It doesn't say on there, but I always called this baby weight yarn. because it's in the baby blanket section of the yarn. Three, light, if you can see that. That's what I'm using, and I'm using a three and a half mil hook. All right, moss time. Let me grab some green yarn real quick. a mixture of these two greens. Excuse that red fuzz. It doesn't belong there. Um, these two are super fuzzy and give me all the moss feels. 
So we're gonna make some moss boulders to glue onto the base of our terrarium. And we're gonna add in some browns too, just to give it that pebbly look. Um, but mostly we're gonna use the moss. It's mostly gonna be the moss. Throw in a few petals, pebbles here and there. We're just, I'm gonna just glue these right to the bottom. I had thought about making a felt disc to just set down on there, but heck, who cares? We're just gonna glue it right on. It will be a permanent terrarium. You will never be able to reuse it for anything ever again. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the glue will probably pull off pretty easily if you, if you really tried. Here's one of our moss balls. This yarn is pretty thin. It's really fuzzy. It's so soft. Um, I'm not gonna glue all of these on just yet because I'm gonna glue them around this first because I really wanna squinch all my uh, mushrooms together and make sure that they stand up on their own well. So we're gonna make a good base first with the mushrooms. This is gonna be so cute. I do need to get on the ball of making some more wall hangings. Um, I only have one appointment tomorrow um, and then I get to come home and crochet all day. What am I making? I'm making a mushroom terrarium. These are my mushrooms. This is gonna be my moss on the bottom and it's gonna go into this cute little terrarium. We're gonna add some moss and we're gonna make little crochet pebbles to add in there. I feel like I need a tiny little gnome figure. I have one somewhere to go in here. I bought these little tiny gnomes at the Dollar Tree um, last summer and put them in my succulent garden. I'm gonna cut these off just so I can get a better idea of how many I'm gonna need. Let's make a couple in this. I just wanna see, walk you through how you're doing the moss, please. Oh, yes, yes, okay, let me slow down. I'm gonna use my bigger hook for this. Um, this yarn's a little thicker. So, we are going to do, or, um, start with your slip, slip knot and do three chains. <clears throat> so you're gonna chain three and you're gonna work into this middle chain. This, I do this first chain because I just need something to hold on to. And we're doing what, what you call a bubble stitch or a bobble stitch. If you want to Google that and look at other tutorials, it's called a bubble stitch, I think is what people call it. It's a series of yarning over, going into that middle stitch and pulling through. And you're going to do that. You're going to repeat that as many times as you want um, for the size of your uh, bubble. Sorry, I need to get some yarn here. We're going to roll out my thing. So you're going to leave all these loops on your hook. You're not going to stitch through them yet. You're going to pull them all through and you're going to make sure you pull them through loosely. You don't want to pull them through tight. So when you pull them through, give them a nice tug because you want to keep these loose. You have done it before. Okay, cool. This is a bubble stitch. So I'm going to do one more stitch because I kind of want this one to be a little big. And then I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. I like to pull this through with some slack here. And then I'm gonna pull through all of these at once. See how I did that? And then I'm gonna close this with a slip stitch, okay? 
And then I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that all the way through. And right now it doesn't look like much. This is the top. I'm gonna pull these tight, both ends. And then I always set this on the back of my finger while I'm tying it. it, just lets me know that I have it. And I just tie it off like that. Give it a good tie off, maybe a little square knot, and then snip the ends off. I do snip it short because I'm gluing these down, so these aren't gonna go anywhere. And so essentially these are all gonna be bubbled up together um, and mixed up. I'm doing various colors of moss on this. In the camera, these colors look a little lighter than what they actually are. They're a little deeper greens um, than what they look right now on the camera. Oh, good. I'm glad you love it. Um, there's probably other ways you could crochet these. This is just the quickest and easiest way. Um, probably for a terrarium floor, I probably should have done like bigger, patchier pieces of yarn. I mean, um, moss, like in a bigger blob of moss. Um, but it's a tiny terrarium, so we're just gonna go with what we got. Pull these tight. I'm gonna make several of these because I'm gonna probably squinch them all really close together. I'm gonna see how many I can get on this hook. Um, I've done them as small as just two pullovers. When I'm making this, these are the, this is the stitch I use to make my string of pearls. <clears throat> um, and when I'm tapering my pearls in size, because I like to make the ones on the tips smaller than um, the ones at the, oh, I dropped. Ah, I dropped us. oh, I'm gonna start over. I missed a loop in there. I knew I was having trouble with that one. Try it over. Welcome back, Sam. Saw you. Saw you pop in. One, two, three. Okay, let's try this again. See how many we can put on here. You guys hear somebody in my neighborhood is really revving it up out there. I've got my back door open so you can hear everything going on. He just tore out of the neighborhood. Okay, here we go. Oh, perfect. Made it all the way through. Didn't lose anything. Oh, yes, that's right. Your grandmother called. I hope that was a good conversation. We're just making moss balls over here. You joined us just in time to see about getting these all put together. Sorry, I'm gonna do a little shoulder stretch, a little neck roll. <clears throat> Oh, fun. I'm glad. I hope they had so much fun. All right, here we go. Make. A 
this is I don't have the label to it anymore I got it at you can get it at Hobby Lobby in fact I saw it there when I was there today um, it's made by yarn bee um, I don't know if you don't have a Hobby Lobby I don't know if yarn bee has their own website um, that you can order it from it's just a super fuzzy yarn and it is incredibly this is the softest yarn I have it's a small ball of yarn and it is just so incredibly smooth and silky and soft. Six and almost four. Oh, those are fun ages. I love yarn bee too. I have really good yarn. This yarn fuzzes and it's getting in my nose and making me tickle. Okay, let's do another darker green. We're gonna have to make a few of these because you're gonna have to hold up my mushrooms. What? Why am I doing five of those? That's silly. What do you guys think? Okay, it's inquiry time. I need some advice. Should I mix up the green or should I like keep the darker to one side and the lighter to the other side? Like in nature, you'd see different shades of moss. So I'm wondering, should I mix it all up or should I keep it to the sides? I'm making a terrarium mix it mix it okay i'm making a terrarium of mushrooms they're gonna go in this little terrarium thing here and these are the moss on the floor of the yep you, you guys are right mix it up i'm gonna do a few more because i'm not quite full yet um or making looks like somebody just walked across my front yard I need some chapstick. Mix them up. Yep. Just checked my website. Love Erin. The terrarium is going to be awesome. Oh, thank you so much, Grace. I appreciate you going to my website and checking out all my plant friends. I do have an Instagram too, if you guys, it's obviously the stuffed pot, doc, uh, it's at the stuffed pot, um, and try to post most of my products on there, I don't think I have them all on there yet, um, I'm not as good with my Instagram as I am my TikTok, um, I get business from both and, um, should be better about my Instagram, just not. It's more fun over here on TikTok. All right. I'm gonna do another darker green. I think I'm gonna go, I guess I'm gonna go to the Urban Succulent Festival with my mother this Saturday. Start working on my garden outside. It's been so, I really wanted to start a couple weeks ago. It's been so windy outside. And I haven't done wanted to do anything outside at all. 
Um, it's blown. I put my cactus out um, a few weeks ago because um, they're needing to come out of dormancy and they just all got blown around everywhere. You started your veggie garden. Oh, see, that's what I need to do. I need to get my veggies started. Um, or before you know it, it's going to be freaking 100 degrees outside and nothing's going to want to get started. I need to do it this week. I will, I will, I will. I promise. Okay. We get rabbits in our yard, and I want to just grow them in the ground. Um, but now that we have pepper, I don't think we're going to have as many rabbits as we usually do. Um, he tends to keep things out of the backyard. <gasps> Bad doggy. Oh, did he eat them? Did he get a rude, spicy awakening? Or did you just trample them? All right, we got some more going on in here. Okay. She laid down and it made it her own little dirt spot. Yep, they do that. I had a great day one great Dane one time that liked to lay in my flower bed and she got uh, a little too close to the rose bush and got scratched on her front leg and somehow got some sort of fungus that you can get from roses and she developed a habit of licking the front of her leg. We could never get her to stop doing it. We've tried everything. Um, and then a couple years later, she got cancer in her other front leg, like her good leg. And I remember the vet telling me, man, not that I wished her to have cancer, but if she could have gotten that in the other leg, we would have just taken that off and been done with all of it. But nope, we had to take the good leg off and leave her with the janky leg. Um, but she lived for two years as an amputee. Um, she was the best dog ever. Um, her name was Sushi. She was a Harlequin Great Dane. And she was such a sweet dog, but she loved to lay in my flower beds. I don't know why. Yeah, it's hot here, too. Yeah, she likes to get down in that dirt. And, you know, if you weed, you're weeding your garden and it's a lot of dirt on the top, she probably was like, oh, Mom did all the work for me. Got all the weeds out so I could have this nice soil to lay in. Hello again, Veronica. Come back. Welcome back. No, they don't live too long, Great Danes. My Great Dane lived until she was 10 years old. Two of those years, her final two years, she was an ampu amputee. Um, she had a long and wonderful life and beat cancer. And um, eventually just got too old as a three-legged dog. Her arthritis was getting really bad. She couldn't get up and down. And so we had to say goodbye to her. Um, but she was a brilliant dog. Um... We are working on a mushroom terrarium. I found the, I did make it out today and I found these little terrariums at the dollar store. And I said, you know what? We need to make a terrarium for mushrooms and so that we could do it on, on live. And so here we are making a mushroom terrarium. Knowing dang good and well, I should be, be making some uh, mushroom string of mushrooms for you. <laughs> I did go get red yarn today, though, um, so I have plenty, and I'm going to work on them after we get done with this. I'll get back. We're taking a little break to do something creative um, because I had an itch, um, but I did get the yarn done. 
I did get uh, out to go to the yarn store. How is your blanket coming along? Have you been working on it today? Oh, great day, great, uh, great Dane Greyhound mix. Can't say that too fast. Oh, I thought that was a gorgeous dog. But she had legs for days. <laughs> I know those pesky chores get in the way of us doing our fun crafts and crochets, don't they? I had to get um, take a break. Someone came back who was at my live this morning, asked me if I'd been crocheting all day. Unfortunately, no. I had to take a shower. Um, I had to do some work for one of the agents that I work for. Um, and so I had to get that done. My mom brought me her car. And then I took her back home so she could get back to work. And then I went and ran errands. Um, we went to Michael's. Spoot, spoot, plew. I am making a moss terrarium with mushrooms. And we're going to put these down in here. And we're going to put this little lid on it. And it's going to be the cutest thing ever. And you're going to want to live in there as a fairy and a gnome. Oh, Veronica, thank you so much for those roses. You're a doll. Thank you. It is so cute. It's going to be adorable. I'm trying to decide if it needs anything else. I think I have, I may have to go hunt down one of my little tiny miniature gnomes to put in there. I know I have like three or four of them running around here somewhere. Um, I cleaned them. I had a cactus garden in a big pot last year, um, but I didn't like them in there. So I took them out and I don't know what we did with the little gnomes. Sloan and I took them out and put them somewhere but they would be perfect to go in here. What kind of yarn am I using? Um, this is Yarn B, and it's super fuzzy. Um, really satiny, um, just really smooth, and so easy to crochet with because it just glides on the hook. Um, how do I come up with these ideas? I have no idea. It's just... Um, you know what I think it is? I secretly want to live in a tiny cottage as a fairy in a forest. And so when I go to the Dollar Tree and they show me terrariums like this, I just can't help myself. <laughs> I can't, I just look at it and I say, I want to live in there with all that moss, put a little tiny cottage in it, throw in a mushroom, and call it good. Let me bake some bread and, um, chase butterflies all day like how do i get that life yeah it would be cute with a tiny fairy i have a gnome around here somewhere i'm gonna hunt it down and we're gonna stick that little gnome in here um maybe my daughter carried him to her bedroom we took him out of the cactus garden oh i know where they're at they're out in the fairy garden i think they got delegated to we do have an actual fairy garden um that we have dug in the back, well, and I say dug, it's weird. Um, that sounds weird to say we dug into our fairy. Your Dollar Tree doesn't have any good, anything good. <laughs> yeah, it's hit or miss with Dollar Tree sometimes, all of the Dollar Trees. Um, some of them can be really crappy and some of them can be really good. And sometimes if you get them right when they get a good shipment, I went there, I don't usually go to the Dollar Tree very often, but I went there thinking I was going to find terracotta pots because they usually have them around springtime. Um, but it was very obvious that they have already been taken. Um, their spring garden center was a little sparse. I see all of these TikToks of good yarn. Uh, do you have a Hobby Lobby? Um, Hobby Lobby does ship yarn. And right now they are having 30% off sale. So I did get a few extra things of yarn, more than what I had planned. Um, because who can't beat a good sale? <laughs> the five quarter store. You saw that TikTok too? That was so hilarious. That lady that said, it's the five quarter store. That was funny. Yes. Dollar 25 tree. 
you want to learn how to do this, um, define this, this in particular, like you want to learn how to crochet or make moss balls. Um, I can teach you how to crochet. I can teach you how to make moss balls. Where should we begin? Your Hobby Lobby is next door to Dollar Tree. That's a dangerous, dangerous location. Actually, I say that my, um, my Michaels that I go to in the next city over, cause we don't have one in my city, um, is right next to a Dollar Tree. So I went to both of those today. Um, okay. I, I don't have enough cause I know once I start squinching these all together, I'm going to have space around the edges, but I have enough that we're going to start basing our, um, mushrooms together. Now I am going to clump these together. I think, should I, should I clump them together or space them out? Quickly, give me a decision. Clump them together or space them out? Clump them together or space them out? Yep, together. Okay. First one wins. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. It is unanimous decision. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little glue. We're going to start with the tallest one. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue right there. And I'm gonna smush these two together. I don't like how this yarn, this uh, yarn is so thin, so some of these wires are sticking out. There we go, we're putting it together. Now these, um, if you weren't here for the making of the stems, the stems have a uh, wire in them. So we can bend them after we get them together and they're gonna stand up just perfectly in the words of Tabitha Brown, like so, like that. Okay, ah, that was wet and I got my finger stuck in it. Yep, with the moss, you won't see the wire, it will hide it. So we're gonna get these clumped together and then we're gonna kinda just start clumping around in a circle. I almost did the ribbon that I make, the the moss ribbon that I made on the wall hanging, but, um. I decided to do clumps instead. We're gonna let this dry for a minute. Um, okay, that feels good. All right, now let's just start adding our moss. I don't like to set my gun on the table. It gets yarn on my table. I mean, glue on my table. Hold on, bring my little, I keep it on a piece of plastic. <laughs> that way I don't get yarn, or I mean uh, glue all over my table. All right, that is glued there. We're gonna glue onto this side. We're gonna alternate these colors because we decided on mixing them up, didn't we? How long have I been crocheting? I have been crocheting for more than 30 years. My grandma started teaching me when I was 10 years old and I am now 44. Oh, good heavens, my cat caught something out in the backyard. Oh, nope, it's another stick, you guys. <laughs> I thought he had a, a lizard or something in his mouth, and he's bringing me another stick. I wonder how many I have under my chair now. Um, Pepper's been bringing sticks in from outside. I've got the back door open because it's really nice outside right now. All right, we're going to keep adding these on. One time, my cat brought in... Oh, no. Oh no, I would have lost it. Uh, my Great Dane Sushi brought me a bunny one time. It was still intact, but um, I don't think she meant to kill it because she's very gentle, but she's got a Great Dane mouth, so what are you gonna do? Uh, it did not survive. Um, I think they had just started coming out of their nest. I'm gonna give these a little, oh my God, you guys look how flippin' cute that is. Oh, the legs were still, you made a video of your fruit. Okay, I'm gonna follow you. I wanna, when I get done with my live, I wanna go and look at your video. I will do that. I just sent you a little follow. Oh my gosh, these are gonna stand up nicely. They're already feeling pretty firm. 
So I got this base here. Here's what we're going to do. I got this base. We're going to go ahead, glue this, and then fix it to the bottom of our terrarium. We're going to give it a good amount of glue so it really holds. All right. Let that dry for a sec before we add more to it. Oh my God, you guys. I'm excited. This terrarium is going to be adorbs. I love the two greens that we chose. I know, isn't it cute? It's all coming together. It's all coming together. I'm glad you guys are here uh, joining me for the assembly. I know it can, you guys have patience, the ones that stick through when I make all the pieces. Um, and then the ones that come back for putting it all together. Am I going to sell these? Yes. I got only got two of these. I probably will have to go back. And, I got two of these terrariums. Oops, excuse me. I'm getting crowded. Um, I will probably have to go back and get some more. I just wanted to see how they would work. But yes, I will. Um, you can use my idea. It's fine. Yes, I'm going to sell these for sure. Um, all right, let's get to gluing the rest of them on here. Um... Oh, I need some more glue. We're going to tuck those in. Got to reload. It is coming along. It's looking really, really good. Circe. I remember now where I heard the words, the name Circe. Isn't that on Game of Thrones? Yes. Whose name was Circe on Game of Thrones? That wasn't the, uh, the queen, was it? The sister? Yes. Circe, sorry. Okay. I was getting it. See, I knew it was, it was Circe, your daughter is Circe, and I was trying to blend it with Circe because it sounds similar. And so I was trying to think of where I'd heard it from, but I'd heard of Circe, not Circe. Okay, now I've cleared that up in my head. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for helping me with that. All right. Oh. You guys, this is so freaking, wasn't going to work on my daughter's blanket, but listening and watching to you has given me motivation. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I'm glad that um, you're getting it done. I need to get back to work. All of these, doing these lives has kind of kept me from working on my uh, son's blanket. Um, I've got three blankets I need to make this year, um, but I'll make it tonight. I'll work on it. I would work on it here, but I feel like you guys enjoy making these craft. I enjoy making these crafty things um, better, more than just sit here crocheting 650 hexagons. I feel like I'm going to need some little tiny ones to fill in these spaces. I want to bring it all the way to the edge. There's a sheer C. Ronan actress. Oh, I don't know who she is. What has she been in? Has she been in anything that I would know? I am a sucker for a good um, history timepiece movies series. I watch Vikings. I watch all of the... Um, timepiece, I guess they're called timepiece, uh, series like about Kings and Queens. And so that name reminds me of those eras, that era back in the day.
Oh, okay. She was in Lady Bird. Oh, yeah, that's right. Opals. Are you referring to my ring? Oh, yes. Thank you. Sorry, I was scrolling back through the comments. A friend gave that to me, and she gave me this carnelian as well. Um, and I'm wearing my carnelian uh, lately, because I had been wearing my turquoise a lot. Just decided to switch it up and wear my carnelian. I don't like to wear them together. It's too much. Alright, I feel like we ended up with a stripe of light green. How did that happen? <laughs> Are you going to make small ferns in it? I was going to, and I completely forgot. I could probably still add them in. Maybe I will. I've got a tiny green. I don't know how... Uh, I should have tucked them into the uh, moss. I might. Let me get this moss in, and then we might add a fern or two. A couple of strands of spindly greenery. I'm really close to all the edges. Uh, I'm going to tuck that one in there. I did end up making it. I wasn't paying attention and I ended up making it look like the moss is striped. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. All right, I think I'm going to, because I've got some dead space on the outside of this. Um, I can't really overlap too much because then the little um, plastic covering won't um, plastic covering won't close. Mine is one giant granny square. Oh, that's going to be really cute. I love granny square squares. Thank you, Sharon. Glad you love it. I'm falling in love with it too. I'm gonna put the lid on it real quick, just see how much I feel about, oh, oh, almost lost my grip on it. I'm afraid if I put little pebbles over here, they might look odd being, no, they won't. I'm gonna do it, I need it, I need to do it. Cause I don't like that space. It looks unfinished. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to pull through two on here and just make a little tiny one real quick. <laughs> you guys should see all the sticks that Pepper has put under my chair. It's hilarious. I think he's just wanting my attention. He wants me to play with him. He really loves being outside. He doesn't leave my backyard. He stays um, in the grass. And I think he's enjoying the grass right now. It's a little longer. these little balls make a video of all the sticks so I have a personal account but I got locked out of it the other day can't get back in it for some reason um, but if you guys want to go and see videos of Pepper and some of my other dogs and my daughters my other um, TikTok is C Lolo Go. C L O L O G O. Um, and there's videos in there of myself and my daughters and my pets and my dogs. Um, somehow I got locked out of it. Um, one day, TikTok just decided to randomly throw me out of my accounts and then pretended they didn't know me. 
Um, thankfully, I got back into this one. But I can't get into my other one. Okay, I think I've done all the edging on this that I'm going to do. Let's make a fern of his sticks. You guys want to see his sticks real quick? So there's one. And there's the other. And there's the other. The marker he knocked off. There's some more right there. <laughs> he brings these underneath. I've got all these pens too. I really do have a clean house. Um, but I've got these markers up here that I use. And he kicks them. He likes to bat them off the table. And then everything ends up under the table. So I have to clean it when I get done. Um, but... He's brought in all these sticks, and it's made the floor dirty. What am I getting? Oh, I'm getting yarn for ferns. All right, we're going to make a quick little fern and see if we like it and put it in the... Um, I'm going to have to make it to where I can stick it down. Craft areas never stay clean. Oh, I know. They... Um, <laughs> It looks nice and tidy right here in this little box I've uh, curated for you all. But the rest of this table is a heaping pile of yarn and scraps that I've cut off and um, wire and a cup of tea and my water, my emotional support water bottle. All right, let's make a little... <laughs> don't judge my house off my craft room. Yeah, um, my living room is spotless right now. Um, the, when the girls leave on Sundays, we do a giant walkthrough and cleaning of the house and get all their stuff packed up. And then, um, and then I have a nice clean house for a week while they're gone. They're entering teenage years, so it doesn't, they don't really make much of a mess outside of their room because they just stay in their rooms all the time. But their friends come over a lot um, and hang out, so they're both of them, their best friends are sisters as well, so, and then they have a younger sister, so they come over after school quite a bit. My house is the hangout house. Okay. I think the best I'm going to be able to do... I'm trying to think of how to make triangles without making them too big. Or I think this is just going to be fun. This is just going to be it. This is what we're going to do. We're gonna make a couple of these little back and forths. Okay, hang with me. Hang with me. We're gonna make them various lengths. And they're gonna be a single crochet. cut that one too short. Why is that one bigger than that one? I did slip stitches in that one. They don't match, do they? Oh well. We're going to put them together anyway. Because that's just how nature goes sometimes. Sometimes leaves don't match. And that's okay. Sorry, I'm drifting off the screen here.
he's out there with another stick on the patio, just chomping it up, throwing it in the air, playing with it. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. He is so cute. Plants. Yes. Plants. All the plants. All the plants. All the crochet plants. All the real plants. If you're just joining us, we made this terrarium. Now I'm making a tiny little fern to stick in the bottom of it. cuttings are getting stuck in my skein of yarn that I'm using. Look at it laying in my yarn cutting pile. I need to move it. Clean it up. Ah, made that almost too short to pull back through. All right. I think this is going to be my fern. Do I have a cat door? No, I do not. I just have my back doors open. Um... I know this sounds weird, but I leave my back door open almost all the time when the weather is nice. Um, I do not like to be cooped up in the house. It gives me big time depression. Um, I'm gonna throw this one out. I don't like it. I know I was gonna try to tell myself I liked it, but I don't. Um, it doesn't match. So I gotta make one more. Um, and so I leave my back door open because I like to hear the outside. Um, I like my dogs and cats to be able to go in and out. Um, I have a fountain on my back porch, and I love the sound of it, so I like to hear it inside. Um, so when it's nice, my door is open. Um, I used to have a curtain rod, um, and I need to get another one, where I hung a sheer curtain. I have French doors. Um, so I used to hang a sheer curtain over my French doors so that I can, uh, you know, keep the flies from getting in. Um, and I need to replace my curtain rod because someone one day, one of my children was chasing the other one and um, they got stuck in it and um, pulled it out of the wall. Um, so I'm going to replace my curtain rod, put my sheer curtains back up but who wants to do that when all you want to do is crochet all right let's attach this fern um I'm really trying to think hard about how I want to put this in because I'm really mad at myself for not doing this before I did the moss. And so I'm kind of thinking that I don't know if I even really want to add it. Do I teach my daughter? Yes, I have taught my daughters to crochet. Um, my middle daughter doesn't, my middle child, my oldest daughter doesn't, um, care to do it anymore. She's too cool for school. She's becoming a teenager and can't be bothered with things. <laughs> um, but my 10 year old still does crochet. Uh, I taught her friend how to crochet too. And she occasionally will, if they're FaceTiming, she'll send, she'll show me her project she's working on a blanket um it's really wonky but i love it and i'm glad that she's keeping at it because some kids get discouraged when things aren't perfect right away all right i gotta try to figure out where i want to put this fern or if i even do want to put this fern in here um am i gonna do one fern or two ferns i might need some input here these are my fern leaves and I could put a little bit of glue and tuck them down into the moss. Oh, 
I would do a few if you do any. I know. I'm trying to think if I want to do any. I guess I could do it right there. I just don't necessarily like this color. I use it for my string of pearls when they're by themselves, but for some reason, this color does not go, in my mind, it does not match. It does just, I, it clashes with the other greens. I don't know why I think that, and it could be just be in my head. Should we just leave it the way it is? Sometimes too much, less is more, right? How do you guys feel about it as it is? I feel like it needs something else, but I don't know that it's ferns. As is is perfect. You like it? I think I think we're agreeing on that. I say leave it. Yep. Let me go. Hold on. Sit tight. I'm going to run out and find a gnome. Hold on. He's going to be so cute. This is exactly what this terrarium is missing. Um, decided not to put the fern in. I'm going to add this little guy. Um, the Dollar Tree has more of these, so I think I may have to go <laughs> get some more gray stones. Yep, I think I... That was the original plan, so yeah, I think I am going to add some gray stones. Um... But does he have to go in here? Yeah, the fern would need need to be a darker green. I agree. Are we adding the gnome or not? Because if we add him, we're going to have to glue him in and he's going to be permanent. Because he doesn't sit on here. Yep, he's perfect, isn't he? We're going to put him at an angle so you can see his little basket. <clears throat> let's, let's add some stones. We're gonna add some stones and give this just a little bit of um, height because it's just a little flat. It needs a little something. I'm just gonna make tiny um, stones. I'm not gonna make very big ones. Um, uh, in fact, I'm only gonna do two pull throughs on here. Yep, it needs stones. You're correct, it does. So I'm gonna do different color ones. I'm not gonna do any of the same. Where did I get the gnome? A Dollar Tree. You can get um, a pack of, I think three of them. I think I got three in a pack of gnomes. Um, put him, we have a fairy garden that has a bunch of miniatures out there. Um, I 
I need to clean my fairy garden out. I hadn't, we haven't done anything for spring yet. Um, and I hadn't realized just how bad it had gotten in there. My fairy garden is kind of in a hole that was formed under a railroad tie. And um, it, the girl, there's a tree, an old dead crepe myrtle that kind of grows out of the side of it. And so it has made these like fun little shelves for little fairy houses. So we have a handful of fairy houses out there that, uh, and other ornaments and whatnot. And then we have this in the top of the railroad tie that goes over the hole there. My mom got the girls, these glow in the dark windows that you're supposed to like hang in trees and make it look like a fairy house. It's really cute. One of these days I'll do a video of it, but it looks like crap right now because we haven't cleaned it out from the winter. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. We're just adding a couple of little pebbles in here. I'll put this one on this side. Get him stuck down in there. And I'm gonna give these stems just a little curve. I don't like them when they stick straight up. I give them a little curve out. It looks better. And I'm gonna put my little gnomey guy right here and I'm gonna glue him in so he never leaves. Does he look, is he facing the right? Nope, he needs to face this way, doesn't he? Yes. All right. I don't know how I wanna position these yet. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna put some glue on his feet. Hold him down on there for a minute. Oh, thank you. He needs a mushroom for his basket. <laughs> yes, he does, doesn't he? Oh my God, I, could, I don't even know how to start with that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. How freaking cute is it? Okay, I guess I'm going tomorrow to buy more um, gnomes from Dollar Tree. It's perfect, isn't it? He's just so freaking cute in there, isn't he? I'm sorry for the glare in the terrarium. Oh my goodness. You guys, look what we made together. Did she say so cute? Oh, I'm glad she loves it. That is so cute. I can't wait to make another one. I think the next one I'm gonna make, can you imagine if you found mini pine cones? Oh, <laughs> oh yes. See, now I'm gonna be buying miniatures, aren't I? I'm gonna be hunting them down. Oh, thank you, Siri. I love it. I'm glad you got to join us making this. Um, my next, so I am going to make another one. And I'm going to do the other one with um, my mushrooms are going to be these, this red cap mushroom. We're going to make them red. Um, but I wanted to try my natural color mushrooms on these. It turned out so cute. Oh, I'm glad it made her day, sweetheart. Thank you for joining with us. Um, it's so much more fun to crochet with you guys. I could sit here and do this by myself all day long, um, but it's boring. I like having... Um, sorry, I got an email from one of the guys I work with. Um, it's so much more... Amazon has some that are three centimeters. Oh my God, that's tiny. But it would be so cute. Could you imagine? Could you even imagine? Oh, this is, <laughs> you guys are really inspiring me, honestly. Just being on here and doing this stuff with you guys, 
um, inspires me to do stuff like this. In fact, when I was in uh, the Dollar Tree today walking around because they didn't have what I needed and I was like, oh, let's see what else they have get my creative juices flowing and I found these and I was like oh my gosh yes we're making terrariums on the live today I need to get back to making my mushrooms so I can get those out um my mushroom orders um oh my gosh that is so cute So I want to do, use the red ones, but I'm kind of afraid that the, um, I guess I could make them pretty small. This isn't, it's a worsted weight yarn, but it's not super thick. This is um, an acrylic and hemp blend. Um, this is Rustic Romantic by Yarn Bee. Um, yarn at Hobby Lobby right now, at least in Oklahoma, is 30% off. Um... But I think this makes the most cute mushroom yarn. Um, let's see. What should I be doing next? I really kind of need to tidy up my space. I've got all of this yarn scraps. Um, what is that? Scissors and yarn. Oklahoma is where my husband's work is based out of. Oh, you guys ever get this way? I've been in Oklahoma all my life. I did live in Dallas for four years in my early, very early 20s. Um, I had a job in Dallas that I um, did and then came back here to Oklahoma where my family is yeah it would be adorable it needs to have some um, yeah I could get carried away with making these and putting miniatures in there um, <laughs> those are so cute I need to make some more wall hanging I need to make all of them I need to make the wall hangings I need to make the uh, boards. I need to stain those boards. I'm just going to leave that there. Alrighty. Sorry. Talking nonstop. I want to, um, I need to drink a lot of water. I'm trying to decide what I want to drink next. I don't know what I want to drink next. Um, Coffee sounds really good right now. Sometimes coffee in the evenings, like hot coffee in the evenings, just sounds so good. Um, but I just don't know if I want to make any. Because I feel like I would make it and have like maybe half a cup. And that would be that. Okay, I'm going to see how tiny I can make these because I want to keep them tiny. Sometimes they get bigger than I anticipated. I'm only going to throw one increased stitch in here because I want to keep them slender like the other ones. don't really want them to bell out. Sometimes I like my mushrooms to bell out. Sometimes I like them slender. I feel like in these little tiny terrariums, though, I need to keep them slender because it's kind of tight space in there. Tea. Yes, I need tea. I made some dandelion quick trip. Not really. We were in North Carolina, so it's far. Oh, yeah. That's quite a drive. I made some dandelion tea, and it was a little too strong and bitter. Uh, usually I mix my dandelion tea in a cold brew, but for some reason I was like, oh, it sounds good to drink by itself, hot. And I didn't like it, so I didn't finish it. But I do have some white tea in there that I should have. <gasps> Thank you so much for the rose. I appreciate that. 
I love seeing those little roses pop up sometimes. One time I didn't catch it. My daughter was on my live watching and she ran in. She's like, Mom, you got a rose. Claudia. I love the name Claudia. My neighbor was uh, at my old house was named Claudia. And one day she killed it. She's a tiny little lady. Um, I forget which country she was from, but uh, she was a, a doctor. She was super smart lady um, and very chatty. But one morning I was getting ready to take the girls to school and, well, and Carter too. He was with us at the time. And um, I come out of my garage. She came out of her garage. <laughs> she had a dead snake in her hand. I was like, Claudia, what are you doing? She goes, ah, I was found it in my garage and I killed it. I was like, what do you mean? She said, it's poisonous. I said, no, it's not. And I educated her on poisonous snakes because I grew up in the country. And, um, but she killed it with a shovel. It was in her garage. I guess it had got in there at some point. She left her garage door open. And she saw it when she was getting there and getting ready for work. I just thought that was hilarious. Um, she just tossed it in her trash can. <laughs> so funny. Um, where's my yarn? There's my yarn needle. We're making some mushrooms. little terrarium I kind of this one's gonna be weird shaped I mean I can shape it but I think I that's fine mushrooms are sometimes weird shaped I gotta tell myself that it's nature it's nature mushroom cap I'm gonna leave it inside out for now um, that is not what it's going to look like originally um, Let's see. I'm making three small little mushroom caps to go into my other terrarium. That was the only gnome I could find. I know I have three of them. I, if I bet if I dug around in there, I just wanted to get that one really quick. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to put a gnome in this one yet. I may have to go get some more tomorrow um, while I'm out an appointment at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, I will probably do another early morning live. <gasps> Thank you so much for the rose. That's so sweet. Yep, they are all different. That's the thing I like about um, recreating nature is that it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not really one for perfection. But if it turns out perfect, it gets me excited. What's everyone having for dinner tonight? <laughs> I haven't, I ate before I did a live because I knew I was gonna be on here for a while. But now I'm starting to think about food and what I might make myself. I think I might just make, I have some chicken in there, leftover shredded chicken I put in the crock pot the other day. Um, I put it in there with just a little bit of taco seasoning and some other seasonings. You had honey garlic chicken. Oh my gosh. I want to come eat that. I need to get some more honey. I ran out of honey and I need to get some more. I love to put honey on stuff. Um, so I have some shredded chicken. I might just do chicken tacos again. Um, put some onions in there. Finish off some corn that I have. Sprinkle that on it. Orange chicken, sticky rice. Oh, that sounds good, Jackie. I want that. You guys have 
really, I'm not a cook. I cannot. It's not one of my things. Um, it's not one of my hidden talents. Um, <laughs> I try, and my kids pretend to like what I cook sometimes, but I'm a crock pot girl. Just toss it all in. It's such an easy recipe, little ingredients. My kid, we had some chicken, bacon, sour cream, and cheese. Mmm. Hey, I'm not necessarily all about the healthy life. I'm all about what tastes good. Somehow, <laughs> I don't know what I did here. Somehow, I missed, I'm gonna back this up because that is way too close. Somehow, I made that really small. And this is how I did it right there. I missed that bottom base connecting with that row. They're being fed, that's what matters, yes. Um, my son was actually the cook before he um, decided to go live up with his dad. And he loved cooking. When he was five years old, he'd start cooking. Uh, he started making breakfast, like scrambled eggs and pancakes and stuff. I always let my kids have free range in the kitchen. Um, and then once he got older, my my stepfather taught him how to cook on the grill. Um, I really want to make this longer, but it keeps getting wonky. And I just... I'm tired of fighting with it, so I think I'm gonna snip it off and start over because um, this one and I are not vibing. And I don't know what's going on here, <laughs> but the fact that you won't be able to see it when I flip it in, that was some great chicken too. Yeah, we used to do that. Oh my God, I have celiacs, no gluten for you. Oh, um, yeah. There's our Mushroom cap two, mushroom cap one. It's starting to get dark in here. I don't have any lights on in my kitchen right now. We're doing this purely on natural light. So as the sun goes down, I may have to turn a light on. Pepper is so cute out there pouncing around on things in the grass. He is scared of birds. Every time one flies over, he ducks down, hides. I think he has a little bit of trauma from being on the highway. I rescued uh, Pepper from the middle of eight lanes of highway. He had somehow managed to make it across four lanes as a five-week-old kitten. I have a feeling somebody may have thrown him out of their car. I don't know. Whoever does that to cats needs to be um, completely tortured. Um, but I also think he came out of the neighborhood to the side of the um, highway. Um, but somehow he just... I saw him cross the lanes and scurry across. Yeah. It took me a while to get back to him because I had to get, it was really busy and it was four lanes of traffic. Thankfully, there was an inside shoulder that I could get in um, and, you know, pull into. So I pulled up. I didn't have to cross four lanes of traffic. Um, I could pull into the inside shoulder. He had made it up to the wall of the median. Um, and he had... He was fine. He didn't get hit, but he had a big scratch on his nose from probably from trying to get up the um, the cement wall. But he was very traumatized for a week. We kept kept him in a really large guinea pig cage um, because he didn't know how to be in a house, and he would try to climb the walls. And he just went. He was very feral. So. And he hated me. He hissed at me, bit me, scratched me. Um, but eventually, one night at four o'clock in the morning, he was yelping and whining and crying in his in the uh, in his cage. Um, I had it in the garage. And I went out there and grabbed him in his little box, brought his little box inside, had a box with a hole cut into it, and we went and sat in the bathroom. And I got a flea comb and picked fleas off of him until six o'clock in the morning. And we've been best of buds ever since. That cat, if I'm laying down, he has to be on my, um, he has to be on my neck. 
My dog was hit by a truck at 55. Oh no, I'm so glad he was okay. That is so sad. Yeah, he definitely has PTSD. Um, he is very skittish of uh, really loud noises or things that go by him really fast. Um, so we're all very, I mean, in the house, he's pretty cool with it. It's just, he's just now started going outside. Um, and yes, I got him fixed. We took him to the vet, got him his shots. I got him all fixed up. Um, but I've always known that I was going to let him be an indoor outdoor cat. Um, I don't like keep, I have a very tiny house and I just don't like the thought of keeping him cooped up. So, um, we've just started letting him explore and we did it, um, at first when the dogs are here, just grateful to have him. Yes. Um, we did it for the first time when the dogs were here. That way he would kind of feel like he had somebody out there with him. And so far, um, he doesn't try. We have a dead crepe myrtle that's been cut down. Um, and it's it's right by our fairy garden. We keep it because the girls put all their little fairy things in it. Um, he climbs that. Um, and he just started climbing up a mulberry tree in my backyard. Um, he just started climbing that. Too, but he doesn't try to climb the fence. He's never um, messed with the fence yet. But he also doesn't. He's still eight months old. Doesn't really. Um... All right, this one's working out much better. I wanted to do one that was a little bit longer. And it's coming along much, much better. I'm gonna make it, not gonna make it too long. It is starting to get dark in here. I may have to flip on a light. I don't think this lamp is plugged in. Nope. I may make some rice and finish off the rest of that chicken. You guys have got me thinking about, I wish I had some honey. Ooh, you know what? <laughs> this sounds really ghetto. You know what I have? I have um, uh, a packet of sweet and sour sauce that came with um, some chicken nuggets <laughs> um, that my daughter's friend ordered. Um, okay, keeping those three. I think I'm going to do three again. I think three is a good number. I don't want to overcrowd my terrarium. Um, I think... Excuse me. Stretching and yawning. Sorry. All right, here we go. We're going to make our stems. Um... Oh, I'm gonna use the other hook. Use my smaller hook. He was. What was I talking about? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Put my wire in that. All right. What time is it? Seven thirty. I definitely do like this thinner yarn for making smaller mushrooms. Um, let's 
turned out really good. It's given me that more dainty feel on the stems that I want rather than the, th the thick, chunky stems. Um, sometimes I want a good, thick, chunky stem. I think I'm going to work on my outdoor fountain tomorrow. Um, I need to get it cleaned out. It's got a lot of winter gunk in there. Leaves gotten in it. I need to clean out all the gunk and wash the rocks off. And then I'll get a couple more little goldfish. I usually put goldfish in it in the spring. And uh, keep some mosquitoes out. And then in the top bucket of my... Oh my goodness, I didn't keep a long tail to, um, let's see, is that going to still make it up there? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I forgot to cut it off long enough. Mm, it'll be fine. It'll make it. If not, we'll figure it out. Um... But I'm going to do some aquaponics in the top bucket of my fountain um, where the water runs through and it spills over the top bucket and um, falls back into the pond into the bigger bucket. And um, last year I just had regular plants up there, but this year I think I'm going to do some edible plants. Why am I tying this off? Get it there. Okay. Close up this stem. for not paying attention catnip yes um my daughter just said we need to grow some catnip outside um for pepper um i need to go and get some i need to get all of that i've got a few seeds i got kale started my kale is growing i'm growing that in a pot which is really weird to grow kale in a pot but it's working um and it's working nicely too um, this is going to frustrate me that this is, <laughs> I really messed this up. It's going to drive me nuts, but figure it out later. We'll work it out. I hate it when I do that. Sometimes I just get to snipping off ends and not thinking about what I need to do with them. Um, so when I make my hexagon blanket, all of my hexagons are tied in with their own end. That way I don't have a border between my hexagons. So when I cut off my hexagons, I got to always remember to leave an extra long tail. Like, I mean, really long tail. Um, and Because if I don't, I'm going to have to get another piece of yarn. And that's just more ends to tuck in. I hate tucking in ends. This is actually not that bad.
All right, let me see how I can get that woven in. It really doesn't look too bad. I was afraid it was gonna leave like a, a bubble there, but it didn't. Um, I'm just gonna weave it back into the stem and it should be good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay, there's stem number one. Let's make stem number two and three. I keep, every time I look in the phone, I look up at this blue thing up here and I keep thinking it's a tampon on the table. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, what? And then I look at it and I realize it's my chopstick. Um, <laughs> Uh, oh, wrong hook. I'm getting a little chilly. The sun's starting to go down outside. Back door's open. I'm getting a little breeze. Might have to get a blanket. One, two. <laughs> right? It was just laying there like that. And so it looked like the end of a tampon wrapper. And I was like, why do I have a tampon on my table? And uh, then I realized it's my chapstick. You never know. It's a house full of ladies. You never know what's laying around here. My son moved out a year ago, and um, it's been such a weird dynamic not having any boys in the house. Just us girls. A little too much feminine energy at times. Okay, I'm going to leave that that length. Grab another piece of wire. This isn't that straight. Let me try to straighten this out. Kind of got a little wrinkly. My wire is a mess of yarn. I'm going to have to turn the light on. I know that for you guys, this is bright enough. <laughs> but it's starting to get a little dark on my table. Um, and I can't really see. I don't have any lights on in here. We were just working in the natural light of the day. My house gets really good natural light, and I need it. Um, I am not good with dark spaces. I just need bright, sunny. In fact, when I came to see this house, um, the landlord didn't even meet me over here. He just gave me the combo to the lockbox and said, go look at it and see if you like it. I walked in, it was in the afternoon, and it was just so bright and sunny in here. And I was like, yep, I'll take it. I don't even care if it's too small. It really is a small house, it's tiny, but I like it that way. It's cottage feel, makes me feel like I live in a cottage. Um, really have become more of a minimalist in my life. Um, when I was married, we, my ex, strived to have all of the he's british so he came here for the american dream of big fancy houses and cars and um it was just drove me crazy i wanted a little tiny house with cottagey feely things plants and um he wanted everything modern and sleek and clean lines and it drove me freaking batty to the point where I was just absolutely depressed. So when we got divorced and I got finally got my first place, I didn't move here first. I moved to a different place um, in the city um, that a friend of mine owned. And oh, I loved it. I had, it was an older house. It had hardwood floors, like original. Um, it was just so cute. Old windows. It was just so cute. Um, so I got to really make it my own and I have stuff everywhere. The 
and clamp that down because I'm really afraid I'm going to lose it here in a minute. I don't want my wire to slip out because I'll never get it back in. I'll have to start over. All right, let's remember to keep enough tail here. There we go. After this stem, I'm gonna have to go turn the light on. It is almost too dark. It's perfect for you guys. It's like the perfect lighting for you guys to see, but I promise you that in real life it is getting a little shady in here. Is it freezing for you? Hmm. Sometimes in the evenings my internet runs slow, I feel like. I feel like everybody gets home and gets on the internet around here. Um, during the day it works good because everybody's at work and I'm one of the few at home. It's funny because on my street, a lot of people, I live in a neighborhood with small houses and a lot of people have converted their garages. So everyone parks out. I still have my garage, so I park my car in my garage. Um, but there's a lot of cars in the driveway and in the streets. And so after about nine o'clock, it's just bare all up and down the street. And the internet goes faster because everyone's gone. <laughs> all right, I'm at the end of that one. Hmm, keeps buffering. Yeah, I think my internet might be getting a little slow. Hmm. Let me, I'm going to turn some light. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to turn some light on. I wonder if it would get worse if I switched it over to data, if I took it off my Wi-Fi and I switched it over to just the data, if it would work still. I probably don't want to do that because it would eat up all of my data. Let me know if it gets better or if it gets worse. Oh, hey, Maria, I didn't even see you come in here. How long have you been here? <laughs> Um, I am making, we made a terrarium earlier, and so I'm making a second one. I bought two of these little terrarium things today, and decided, oh, I'm going to jump on live and make a terrarium. So I'm making uh, the second one with these little mushrooms. I'm going to make a third stem. I'm going to whip these up real quick. Maybe five minutes. Well, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you again. 
Hope you had a really good Monday. I'm gonna make this one short. Somehow those two ended up being the same height and I don't like that because I'm not gonna be able to adjust it on the, um, but that's okay. I can bend it later. I'll bend it and make it, adjust it. Um, Oh, Rainy Marie. Okay, your first name is Rainy. Okay. And your middle name is Marie. So we share the same middle name. Got it. Rainy. I'll remember that. Um, we had a very good live this morning. We made a string of mushrooms. Someone ordered these wonderful string of mushrooms, so we made a bunch of them. Um, but I ran out of yarn, and I had to go run errands. Um, but it was fun. We had a good, we had a really good morning. It was a good Monday morning. this around or I might lose it. Mine's Bobby Joe. Oh, nice to meet you, Bobby Joe. I try to remember everyone's names. I'm learning. I'm just start, I've just started doing these lives this week and so I'm so happy to see some of you guys coming back. I love that I can make new friends on here and remember you and your stories. Um and the things you're working on and the things you're doing and all of that. It's just a really fun place to be. I don't get out much anymore. I used to be extremely extroverted and I used to go out and COVID kind of changed that game for a lot of people. And I just really embraced being at home and being an introvert and working on things around here. Um, I just don't really care to go out all the time. I go out with my friends. Like, we go hiking and do fun stuff. Occasionally, we'll go have dinner. Um, I am single as a Pringle, um, and I have no interest in dating, so I don't really, like, I just don't leave the house much. Um, I vacation a lot. I travel with my kids. I travel with my friends. My best friend lives in Montana. She's been my very close friend for more than 20 years. And so I go to Montana several times. Um, I love to travel. I love to crochet and knit and make things and garden. Uh, spend time with my mom and my stepdad, you know, while we still have our family close. My mom's young. She had me when she was 18, so um, <laughs> we're decently close in age. She's in her early 60s. Um, okay, let's sew up this last stem. Get this party started. Thank you for all the likes. I appreciate you guys sending some love to my live and to my channel. 
Every time I say my channel, I think of Pinky Patel. I freaking love her. Um, and she's always, welcome back to my channel. So every time I say that, I channel her, her voice. Before COVID, I was um, a real estate agent. I loved selling real estate. Um, and our agency doubled as an art gallery, our office. And so we would throw these big, giant art parties um, once a quarter. And of course, COVID came and we had to stop doing them. And I missed them. I really missed doing functions like that, getting all dressed up and fancy and um going to fun things all right let's put our mushrooms together um but getting out of the habit of something and then trying to remember to get back in the habit of doing those things um i just got really comfortable with being at home um i love my little house and my little plants everywhere and it's cozy and i got a uh a really flat Ikea sectional that's got a million and a half pillows in it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and glue these again. Sorry, it's easier for me to take the glue over there than to bring my gun over here. I should have push that together with the glue gun, but it's fine. I really just want to make sure these strings don't come untied. I don't really care about the stem sticking to the, um, I just don't want my glue, my strings coming untied and I don't feel like tucking them in. So there they are. Um, oh, I forgot to feed that one all the way to the top. Let's do it now. I think I'm gonna make rice for dinner. Rice and that leftover chicken. And maybe I will make a rice bowl and put some, I got some cucumber I need to eat. And some I'm trying to think of what else I could put on it. I got some spinach. one of those trust the process things, right? You know what? I'm going to glue it before I snip the um, things because I think it keeps it together better instead of letting them just kind of pop out to the side. That's what I'm going to do. Thanks for um, tolerating my unraveling anxiety with my glue. I'll put glue on everything. I'm like, that'll do it. That'll hold it. Blow on it. Get it to dry a little. Unless it should stick to the table. This table that I have is a, like a cheap freaking $69 Ikea table. Um, super basic and we stained it um, but this thing is um, had done had so many crafts on and it's got paint and glue and um, marks and Grayson was making macrame feathers um, for a while and we had this like one of those cat brushes to like brush out the sides of the macrame and it scratched the heck out of my table but we were like you know what we don't care why do I feel like, I feel very weird right now trying to tie these together. Okay, I figured it out. 
I couldn't get the the hold down. There we go. Got it. All right. I'll glue this one on, and then we're gonna make the moss. I think I'm gonna do the same color moss. That's the only colors I have in fuzzy, um, fuzzy yarn. So I'm gonna do the same colors moss and stick this little guy up here with that. Put it all in. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna let those dry before I put the caps, flip the caps over. Let's start making some moss. Clean my space up here a little bit. Got so much mess. I feel like I need to pop my shoulder. All right. It's perfect though. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sometimes we just need a little validation. Make some moss balls. One, two, three. Is this still buffering for you guys, or you guys feel like you have a pretty good connection? bring my base over here. Okay, these are good to flip over. I got them nice and dry. These are kind of tight. And I don't want to be too forceful with it because I don't want the wire to pop through the cap. There's that one. Oh, I forgot to trim that one off. You guys, I put the bigger belt on the shorter. I should have swapped these two. Oh well. <laughs> okay. So these actually um, go in and then they twist to lock and stay shut. Um, so that's handy. So you can lock it that way if somebody picks it up it doesn't just like fall apart all right i'm gonna put this here that way we can kind of see how many we have how many we need to do
Thank you guys so much for the likes. Sorry, I've kind of gotten a little quiet here. I think I'm getting tired. You know how, like, when you talk a lot, <laughs> your mouth gets tired and you get thirsty? I'm just taking a little mellow zen break here. Make some yarn balls and listen to some music. Sorry, knocked my sting. switch to the other green for a little bit before I make too many in this color. I love this freaking yarn. So I make a cactus in the store in my shop. There's a cactus named Gary and Gary is this yarn. It's so soft. It's the softest yarn. It's not scratchy at all. It's really silky. Am I making it way its way back in? <laughs> Maybe. All those loops. Oh no. <laughs> I think I can make it back through all of them. Okay, we'll try that again. <laughs> See if we can make it through. It's hard with this thicker yarn. Oh, good enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? <laughs> I made it. I survived. I saved the day. This one's going to be cute. I love the red with it. I may add, I'll leave space for a gnome later if I go and get some more gnomes tomorrow while I'm out. I know the, the dollar store in Norman that I went to is the next city over had them. I really don't want to drive down that way because it's in the opposite direction of where I'm going tomorrow. Um, but we'll see. Maybe the one by my house has some. Because I think all of these terrariums are going to need a gnome. And I probably will have to buy more terrariums. Because this is addicting. See what else miniatures they have lying around at the five quarter store. Huh. 
Uh, only a crocheter gets that, yep. <laughs> yeah, I'll see if they have pie counts. I may order some things off of the, um, the ye old Amazon. I need to, I'm gonna, when I finally wind down and get in bed tonight, right before I go, I usually get on my laptop and do, um, some work. Um, I need to, uh, look up alternatives for terracotta pots because I can't go without my terracotta pots what happens if I go viral again and I get into a back order I'll figure I would figure it out I know I would the good thing is is that Michael stills has their 20% um, off coupon on their app um, I know Hobby Lobby got rid of their 40% off coupon, um, but I still got 20% off while I was there today, so that was good. Five course store, yep. There was a TikTok going around. Do they make the plastic version of the terracotta pot? That's what I was thinking, if I could find someone that sold them. I ordered some one time that I thought were white. The picture, and I should have read the description better. <laughs> Oh, I just got fuzz up my nose. <laughs> um, the picture online, they looked white, but when they came in, they were gray. Now I'll show you. I got some here. Um, I thought these were going to be the answer to my problem because they were super cheap, um, but they're gray, which is fine, but they're really lightweight. So if I do use them, I have to use them. I have to put something weighted in there because they fall over really easily if you put anything heavy in there. They just topple over. Keeps freezing. Your phone is charged. Yep, my phone is plugged into the charger. Um, Do I need to restart my live? Pour cement in them. I could do that, yeah. I could just whip up a batch of cement and just squirt a bunch of cement in the bottoms of them. It's fine for you. All right, well, we're almost finished. So if you can hang in there to the end, I think I will, um, I think we're gonna wrap it up after we get done with this cluster. Um, Cause I'm getting hungry. I'm getting a little sleepy. And I'm um, gonna have to take a break. So let's get this assembled. So you guys can see what it looks like. I'm gonna put these in like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it would give it weight. Um, I've got a ton of them actually. Um, I did make some, so I had to. I did a craft fair last Christmas. Um, I signed up to do this craft fair at this uh, barn in rural Oklahoma, and I, you guys, uh, TikTok. One of my TikToks went crazy viral, and I ended up in a three-day back order. Um for two months straight and I didn't have any inventory and I couldn't take time to make inventory so I tried to cancel and this poor girl that was putting on the event she was doing it at her farm she owns a goat farm and she makes things she makes um lotions and soaps out of goat milk um and she basically begged me she was like please don't cancel please um because everyone's canceling and I've because the weather was supposed to be really cold too. And I said, look, I really want to be there. I just don't have any product. Like I, I'm selling out. Sorry if cracking knuckles. Okay. See if that helps. Could you make them different color? Um, the pots, the gray pots, I could probably paint them. Um, 
those aren't sticking together for some of this not. Um, I could probably paint them. I kind of like your idea of putting something like cement in the bottom. I could probably put plaster too. Um, just whip up a little. Plaster wouldn't be quite as heavy as cement, but just fill them up like halfway. Um, Cause they are just so light. All right, let's get the moss on. It's pretty dark outside right now. Pepper's still out, just prancing around in the grass. He is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. I just love him. Yeah, I might... Um, I know that uh, Hobby Lobby sells um, little bags of cement or plaster. I think the next time I go, I'll see. I think that's a great idea to um, use... Just to even put just a small layer at the bottom, like I wouldn't need to fill them all the way up. Just a small layer at the bottom to give them a little bit of weight so they don't blow over. Because I had them at the craft fair, um, so I had bought those. And to crank out just a bunch of small plants to kind of fill up my booth. Because I didn't have time, I kind of got sidetracked on that story. I didn't have time to make a bunch of inventory for that booth, like big things. So I sat down and made a bunch of tiny plants just to fill my table to make it look like I had product. And then I made a handful of bigger plants and then um, it worked out nicely. Um, I made a little bit of money at that craft fair. Uh, not, a much, not a lot, but I felt bad for her. It was her first year doing it at her big fancy, she's a really big fancy barn. Um, and so I bought those plastic um, ones to put there. I definitely don't have enough moss balls, so I'm gonna have to make some more. I'm gonna do these a little differently because I ended up with a line last time of, um, I'm going to need to add some more. Eh, I don't want it to go in that way. I want it to go in like that. Tuck in the tails. I've got a lot of glue webs here. And they're getting on the back of my hand and driving me nuts. <laughs> Uh-oh, those there was some glue on the top of that. And I don't like that because I know it's going to dry funky. We'll stick a pebble on it later. Ugh, oh, I have glue webs all over my hands. Okay, we're gonna have to make some more moss balls. We don't have near enough. Thought we did, but we don't.
only problem with changing my pot style on all my plants is that I have to re-photograph all of my plants that I do. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons why I've been hesitant to change to a different pot style. Um, like plastic or, you know, something else. Um, because I'd have to redo all of my uh, marketing. Um, which is fine. I mean, at the end of the day, if I'm, if I'm saving 70 cents a pot, I don't know, is 70 cents enough to worry about? Should I just keep buying the pots that, um, I mean, I have, why am I doing that? I have a little room in my budget, you know, in my profit to cover that cost, but man, it's, it's that hurts. Yeah, they do add up. Um, a little bit of everything went up. Um, shipping costs went up. I charge a flat rate for sh shipping. I eat a little bit of the shipping cost. Um, and it depends on where you're at, depending on how much I eat. Um, if you live near Oklahoma, like in Texas or Arkansas, then um, I only eat about a dollar or two. Um and if I, if you're further, it's like a dollar fifty. It's no more than two dollars, I think. But I do pay for a little bit of shipping because shipping, um, when you're just buying like an inexpensive item for my store, and then shipping is the same cost of the item. For some reason, sometimes that can just be a little bit like, ugh. Um, so I try to keep my shipping cost a little low. Get thirty for twenty one dollars on Amazon. Does it say what size they are? I'm specifically looking for these teeny tiny pots. Um and I'm gonna look it up through the company. Um these little pots are like two inches across. Um these are the ones that inflated the most. These I used to get for 53 cents a piece. Um, and I buy them. Now they're $1.23 cents a piece. Um, which is fine. But um, I put them in a fairly inexpensive cactus. Because the cactuses are small. And I don't feel like charging a lot of money for a small item. Um, but... And there's other costs and factors. It's not like the pot's the only thing, but um, there's a lot of other costs tied into it. But I'm not going to sweat it for now. I'm going to see if what I can find. I'm going to keep doing more wall art um, and using just more maybe organic and recycled materials. Yeah, I stocked up a lot um, on the um in december um especially f with things that i get at the dollar tree like i get all my glue my, my hot glue at the dollar tree because it's cheaper um and i knew that dollar tree was going up in price i mean they had been writing articles about it so <laughs> i went in there and bought just as i mean i literally bought all of the ones that they had there for a while um okay let me i'm gonna s stop and add these in real quick and just see where i'm at oh Excuse me. They're 58 cents in your area? What store? What store are you um, getting them? Because they went up in mine. They used to be 53 cents. Um, but Michael's 
I get them at Michael's and Michael's just did a price increase on a lot of their products. I even mentioned it when I was up there. I was like, man, you guys really got happy with the price gun. And Walmart. Okay, I'll look at Walmart. I don't don't generally go to Walmart. Um, but I will go in there tomorrow and see. Um, I get stuff at Walmart. I just don't like going in there. Um, I do this. I do the curbside pickup at Walmart. But I'll, yeah, I'll swing in there tomorrow and see. Thanks for letting me know that. That's very, very helpful. Um, everything about Walmart makes me crazy. Um, but mostly what makes me crazy is the parking lot. <laughs> I think, I guess the one by my house is okay. Um, the one by my old house, there was always a lot of crime in our parking lot at Walmart. Um, and so I just stopped going. I got out of the habit of going. Um, and then with COVID and picking up curbside became popular. If there's things I need at Walmart, I just get it and pick it up. On the rare occasion, I will go in because sometimes I need like a big thing that I need to be cheap. Like I needed a, a radiator heater one time and I knew it would be cheaper at Walmart. So I went to Walmart instead of Target because I knew it would be cheaper there. I need to get a new floor fan for my room. My floor fan finally died on me and I am one of those people that have to sleep with the fan on high and the air on 65 and then tons of blankets. Um, but my floor fan died and I've been borrowing my daughter's little tiny fan and it's not cutting it. Okay, yeah, I will. I'll look and see. Yeah, I will. Thanks for mentioning that to me. I don't know why sometimes I just space out on Walmart. I'm like, mm, it doesn't exist. Um, but when times get tough, old Sam Walton really comes through. Um, and here's a fun fact. The pots at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, I'm going to make a note to go in there every time and walk by and see if they're still there. Um, but the little pots at Hobby Lobby have been coming with a cancer warning on them. I don't know what they're putting in their terracotta pots, but they now all have warnings um, that they could cause cancer. And so every time I walk by and I look at the terracotta pots in the Hobby Lobby section, <laughs> nobody is buying them. There's not a single one gone. Um, and back in the day, I used to buy them there. And I'm pretty sure they're the same pot. Um, and they were always running low. People were buying them all the time. I would be lucky if I would get one. So they sell them in uh, prepackaged uh, pre-packaged pots of like five in a bundle and <laughs> I would be lucky to get like one or two bundles um, but now they're constantly fully stocked because no one wants to buy your cancer pots Hobby Lobby What kind of yarn am I using? Um, this is a super fuzzy yarn. I believe Yarn Bee makes this. I get it at Hobby Lobby. It is really, really super soft. And then this is also a Yarn Bee yarn, I believe. It's pretty soft. It's got a little more scratch to it than this one. Um, but it And it's thicker in strand. But it's super, super... Um, fuzzy and so it's perfect for making moss which is what we're making in our little terrarium 
I feel like I should have gotten more of this yarn. These are the only two skeins of fuzzy green yarn that I have. And while I was there and it was 30% off, I really should have gotten more yarn, but I feel like I just um, stocked up because I, I started, I did go and buy a bunch of blue yarn doing my son's blanket. And um, so I, I did just recently buy a lot of yarn. Somehow we got glue in the front of that. We're gonna cover that up with a little moss bowl. I'm gonna put a couple of pebbles on this one too. Um, and I'm gonna leave space for a gnome because I may go get a gnome tomorrow, see if I can find some. And, uh, Three gnomes for five quarters. That's a pretty good deal. Kind of made that one a little bigger than I should have, but that's okay. Um, let's see if they have some pine cones or any other tiny miniature. They do need pine cones, though, don't they? For sure. I think it'll be fun to leave these. Um, I'm not going to seal these terrariums. That way you can add things if you want to add things. The only thing you can't take out is that gnome. I glued him in there because I didn't want him to fall over. It was a little unstable. Um, Uh-oh. Get, get in there. I feel like I need something right there. It looks weird. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> if I made one, it would be way too big to put there. I will. I'll look them up. I'm sure they... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sure they are super adorable. Alright, let's make some little stones. And then... We're gonna be... Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna curl these out quite a bit. Just because... Um, I made two of these similar in size. And I just want to give them some space. But I've got this space here that I'm going to put um, something on. We'll see what we find tomorrow. I'm going to leave it... Um, I think I might do the pebbles tomorrow when I find out whatever it is I'm going to put on here. Because, look, they're all kind of to the side, aren't they? Like, I'm, I'm lopsided here. So, I think... I'm gonna definitely um, put something right there. It's gonna be a gnome, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And then I'll add the stones after I get the gnome on there. So I'm not gonna add the stones tonight. I'm gonna call it a night with my TikTok lives, go make something to eat, and then work on these mushrooms. Um, I'm gonna work them on them while I'm laying in bed. Sorry guys. I'm gonna go and relax and watch some TV and finish these mushroom orders so I can get those out tomorrow. Swing them by the postie. Oh my gosh. 
We'll finish this up tomorrow afternoon. We'll finish up this guy. Yep, I'm going to position these um, like this, and then I'm going to put a little gnome or whatever I find right here. Put some stones. Maybe order some pine cones. I got a little glue right there. I'm going to have to put something on top of that to cover it. Um, but that's the good thing about building these up. Oh my gosh. These are so freaking cute. I'm so excited. Nice chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you again. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be here in the morning. I got an appointment at 11 o'clock in the morning. I might be here in the morning. Um, cause I wake up early. So maybe I'll be here around six or seven. We'll see. Um, but I'll definitely be here tomorrow evening. We'll finish up this little guy and who knows i might buy some more terrariums actually i don't know i may or may not i need to get um i bought some boards i need to do the wall hangings all right you guys have a great evening um thanks for joining me thanks for all of your tips and help and your conversation love you all so much have a great night Bye bye